Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pokemon Card Livestream. I'm back from my two-day break. I think that'll be a regular thing, just taking two days off, so that I can focus on both of my channels. How's it going, guys? Tomato Head says, except I'm always broke. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Pokemon cards and going broke. This is a familiar thing. <laughs> I will now make cheese illegal in chat. I don't think so. User says, happy birthday. Oh, thank you very much, man. So, the cards you see on the table are the exact same sets we had uh, from two days ago. Tonight, after the card stream, I'm going to be doing all the shipping. All the shipping. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. We skipped a turn on the shipping because we really did not have very much to ship out. So, but tonight, I will be shipping out all the cards. Yay! Shipping time! Let's check out where we were at with the lottos. The lottos are real popular in this card stream. The current lotto for Lotto 1 is this PSA 9 Pikachu Zekrom, which is the chase card from Team Up. Comes with five booster packs and a free grading. Lotto 1 just started, so Lotto 1's relatively new. Lotto 2's... Oh, we're already getting started over there. Thanks for the good times. Happy On... birthday, Tip. Happy birthday, Tip. Thank you so much, Dio. Lotto 2 is only 10 cards, and this is going to be for two boxes of code cards again. So this is a code card lotto. That one's real small. Thank you so much, Saul Cruz. Thank you, everyone. This is the big lotto. It's actually really coming down closer to the end. Look at that. I think that's smaller than lotto one right now. So the big lotto is almost over, everyone. And this is going to be for the Dedenne GX, which is probably valued around $250. After that, we'll get another big lotto going. Which, that'll be fun, too, just picking a new big lotto. Make it a Charizard. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't decided how big a big lotto should be. Should it pass $1,000? That's crazy, right? Two tickets for code card lotto. Two tickets for the code card is Sagar. How's it going, Sagar? All right. Back to win again. Sagar, I haven't shipped your other codes out. So I shipped out the first, the first win I shipped out. The second win is waiting to ship out. It ships out tonight. Okay? Let's get this started, guys. We're gonna go crazy. Scam economist. Thank you very much, Metal X. <laughs> Thanks for the tips, everyone. <laughs> Sagar going for the three peat. That's right. If you win three times in a row, that would be wild. That would be really wild. By the way, I want to remind everyone who buys cards, if you want your code cards, just ask for them. I'll send you a picture of the code cards after the stream is over. So you're always welcome to just ask for your codes. All right, that's for Sagar. Goes into Lotto 2. Sweet. Dio made a donation. Thank you so much, Dio. Sagar bought the tickets. Metalax made a donation. Sweet. Shout out to Cheese, the real MVP, says Natty. I tell you guys what, before we get too far into this, I'm going to turn on my air conditioning because it is so humid in here. God, it gets so humid in Missouri. Yeah, let me go turn on my air conditioning. Yes, let the air conditioning begin. It is that time of the year. It's finally getting warm outside. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? So good news, we have tons of Hidden Fates. I bought so much Hidden Fates. It's funny too, because I had just finished cleaning my trash pile up. So much of it is gone and cleaned up at this point, and we're just going to make it large again. Actually, let me clear this up too. Toss this over here for now. I'm gonna set these giant cards on top of this. And we'll move this. Where are we gonna move this? We got these empty booster boxes of the rocket. These are valuable, they're like 60 bucks each. Move it over here for now. On this channel, we have opened up two boxes of Team Rocket booster packs. Two boxes of it. How's it going, Cole? He says Pokemans. That's right, we're back. We're back. We'll have five days of streaming of all the Pokemans. How's it going, Ted? Thanks for the happy birthday wishes. 
Oops, that's sticky. Don't you hate it when cards are sticky? So fresh hidden face boosters. I'll open up one pack for myself right now. How about that? How about that? It's my birthday pack. I'll probably be opening a lot of packs tonight, but I don't want to go wild on these. That's what tends to happen. I go a little crazy with Tin Fates. This is my birthday pack. Let's find out what it is. What? <laughs> can we do the trade my cards for some G Rising? Well, if you want cheese, you could wait a little bit longer and Cosmic Eclipse should show up. I ordered even more of them. So I don't know what happened to the last, the lost shipment. That's, we're just waiting on that one. But I ordered even more of them. So if you wait a little longer, they might actually show up. That's my advice. Now he's like, go deep. <laughs> I'm trying not to. My hands will start shaking. I'll, I'll get all sweaty and then I'll just go wild. I'll just open all of them. <laughs> I'd be like, don't be shy. <laughs> Ah, far-fetched Vaporeon. Ah, stinky poopy. Stinky poopies. See, opening cards very much is like gambling. You're gambling every time you open that pack. Of course, Nintendo, the owner of the cards, is the person who is offering the gamble, right? Well, it looks like something's propping these cards up. Give me a moment here. I'm going to see this. This is... What is this? Oh, that's not supposed to be there. What the hell? I got all these giant cards. Oh, look at these. These are actually kind of nice looking. Oh, what a cute mimic you. Oh, maybe I put these to, to the side to decide if maybe I would grade them. Here, let's uh, let's leave them up. That's mimic you. I don't know about the soul Galio. He's okay. There we go, Minior. To me, it's basically gambling. I don't see a huge difference between buying packs and gambling. I don't see a huge difference. I guess the, oh, I run over my cat by accident. Don't do it, kitty. All right, I also need some penny sleeves right now. We are low on penny sleeves. Give me a moment. There we go, some fresh penny sleeves. Oh, let me turn up my laptop as well. Yo, it's getting so warm in here. Tamlet says, I don't know why I'm sad. That's okay, Tamlet. Nobody knows why they're sad sometimes. It's just part of, part of life. It's definitely part of life. Code card lotto. So let me turn my laptop up so I can actually hear these. I want to be able to hear these. There we go. That's turned up. And let me move these over to the side where they'll be safe. So we're going to take care of Temlet first. Temlet orders some bonds. Where are my bonds? Whoa, we got a lot of cards. We got a lot of sword and shield. Huh, where are my bonds? Did we sell out of a whole box of bonds? Oh my god, I think we sold out of a whole box. How about under here? Oh, here they are. Here they are, I found them. I found them. We're on our last. We're on our last set of cases for the bonds, Mr. Bond. Here we are. Good luck. This is for Temlet. What happened? Why are we saying that's freaked up? It's a prank, cheese. What? Be sure you're being nice, Mary. Let's see. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Pack number one. So this is for tablet. Pack number two. Pack number three. Pack number four. And pack number five. Throw that over there. Unbroken bonds. Three, four. What do we have? We have Pyokumaku, Charger Bug, Firo, Ghastly, Grubbin, Pyoku er, Pikachu, Drowsy, Ekans, Ultra Forest, Carton Voy, and Alolan Dugtrio. Let's see what's in the next pack. One, two, three, four. What do we got? Surprise Box, Tora Cat, Charger Bug, Diglett, Bellsprout, Jigglypuff, Zubat, Diglett, Polyswag, and Darmanitan. 
pack number three. Whoa, so weird. I haven't done this for like, I haven't done this for like two days and my hands feel like they're dumber at it. Like they're not as good at it. Isn't that crazy? Feels like I need practice. <laughs> Oddish, Tangela, Krabby, Seeking, and Gengar. Hmm, Gengar, you say. Next pack. Hey, mister. I think Cristiano's going, hey, mister. Hey, mister. You got any of those free code cards? Hey, mister. Don't forget your wine. That's right. Do people still play Pokemon cards? You better believe. You better believe they still play this game. This game has tournaments and everything, man. You better believe it. Power Plant, Cocos Trap, Togetic, Venonat, Cottony, Wooper, Oddish, Tangela, Litten. Nice. And Greninja, Zorark is going to be your hot pull for these set. For this set. All right. Remember at the end of the last stream, Mahasvara got that Mewtwo cut in half, and it was the same type of Mewtwo that Temlet was looking for. Ooh, that was rough, man. <laughs> That was a good ending to that stream. That was really that was really crazy, actually. I don't know. Maz Vara going a little nuts there. After Temlet, Sunny says two tickets for the code card lotto. Very good. This is going to be Sunny. Good luck, Sunny. Hey, mister. Hey, mister, mom said I can't have her credit card. And, um, can you show some codes? Too hidden. Too hidden. You can't do that. You can't say too hidden. After Sonny, we have cheese. He said, fates, and also give me the G rising for my cards. Please, stud, muffin. Are you sure about that cheese? Cheese, let me ask you, are you sure about that cheese? Are you 100% absolutely, definitely certain? I don't even remember what your cards were, to be honest. <laughs> Where are your cards? That's not your cards. Oh, here it is. That's JC. That's a very close trade, actually. Hmm. Oh, right. I wasn't sure. I don't think the Lorantis will actually get a 10. I think the Lorantis is a 9. I remember. Can you show price card? Yeah, we can show the price card. Here you go. I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Cheese, I'm not 100% certain if I want to do that big trade. I'm not 100% certain on that. I'm pretty sure the Lorantis is a 9. I'm looking at it again. It's got some weird kind of edge wear on the, the top. Here, I'll place this back here. I'll think about it, though, Cheese. Maybe, maybe PM me about it. Let's get you your Hidden Fates, though. Let's see what you got for the Hidden Fates. Sweet. Good luck on your pulls, Cheese. I mind swept one of them, so you actually have better odds right now. That's a good situation for you. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? User says USA only. USA only? No, actually, you can do international, but it's an extra $3 per set, okay? So international price is three extra dollars per, per uh, set of packs or whatever, right? So that's how it works. It's not US only, I do ship internationally. Just costs a little more. Oh, nice, Full Art Greninja, beautiful. Terrific pull, that was one pack away, I missed it. Next pack, Greninja Full Art from Hidden Fates. What a cool looking card. Magmar, Misty, Sabrina, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Lapras, and Kangaskhan. Shipping is expensive, rip. That's true. Shipping is very expensive. If you want an impression of just how expensive the shipping is, the shipping is $12 for 8 ounces international. So that is the actual shipping price. That doesn't even cost account my, my cost of supplies. It does not count the cost of my time, like the handling. So it's actually quite expensive. Beautiful Greninja, man. Let's take a closer look at it. Oh, man, it's looking good on the back. Cheese says add the, add the Greninja to the trade offer. 
You know what? If you do the Greninja, I'll go through with the trade offer. I think that would be just enough. So we'll do a whole box for cheese then, huh? Is that what you're looking for, cheese? All right, I'm just placing this off to the side. And let's see what he gets from an entire box of Guardian Rising. So Cheese just traded me all of his cards for this whole fresh boost box. Everyone wish him luck on his pulls. Good luck. That's a big box. I'm looking to pull a secret rare life. Secret rare life. I don't know what that means. Do you mean live? Maybe you mean live. Ooh, here we go. So beautiful. Oh, he says, I hope I get an energy card. Are you are you talking about secret rare energy cards? I gotcha. So we'll start with the first half of the box. One. Two. Three. Four. You may not notice, but I promise you help a lot of people in this complicated times. Thank you. How's it going, Ernesto? Yeah, you know, uh, it's really, people like to say things about how many people are dying from coronavirus. They're like, oh, well, it's not as bad as the flu. Oh, well, it's not as bad as heart attacks. That part's definitely true. But uh, it's not like, it's not like it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like people are actually dying. This is it's kind of the silly thing is it's sort of flawed logic where people go, well, just because the rate is lower doesn't mean 57,000 people didn't just suddenly die. It's like, yeah, 57. Well, I think it's 58 now, right? 58,000 people dead around the world. Just poof, like in a month, 58,000 people. That's a lot of people to just suddenly disappear. So it's, it's a really, it's a tragedy. And it shows that nobody was really ready for it. The countries weren't ready for it. Uh, the way we have a global market where we all kind of rely on each other to make goods for each other, it showed that this was flawed as well when there's actually a scarcity of something that's important for survival, like masks. Uh, all of a sudden, countries became competitive over who gets masks. Even states in the United States are competing to have masks. So it shows you that we just have to be way better prepared for this in the future. And, you know, if your government's not doing anything about it, then you got to fire your politicians and get different ones. Here we go. Let's get started. That's kind of a deep subject. <laughs> Oops. I don't think any country was really ready for it to be this bad, but uh, now we know. All it cost was 58,000 people dead. That's all it cost. And now we know. Isn't that how it always goes? When some big tragedy happens, we adjust to, to do better next time. But it's like we shouldn't have ever had to have adjusted. We should have just been doing our best from the start. But that's how tragedy works. Laws get made after people die, not before. Laws get made reactively. So a bunch of people die, and then we make a new law. It's really sad. Listen to me. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I could just be talking about Pokemans, Salandit, Rock Ruff, Deli Bird, Aqua Patch, Whiskash. Yeah, I could be talking. It's also, it's such a, it's awful to see our politicians trying to blame each other for the virus. It's like, dude, the virus is like a natural disaster. And we've had, like, multiple presidents who could have stockpiled masks and gotten ready for it. None of them did. We just weren't ready. Tapu Lele. Wow, that Lunala looks really nice too. Let me sleeve that up. So you got the Tapu Lele and the Lunala. I'm going to give you any cool looking rare cards. Toss that off to the side. And all the rest of these will be thrown into bulk. Everyone got real quiet in the chat. <laughs> Dad, stop beating up mom. <laughs> it's like one of those moments. Dad gets real angry. <laughs> Everyone's like, don't talk to him. <laughs> Who says I even want my cards, says Cheese. Cheese, you got to want your cards. It's required. Let's see what you get. I know you want some cards, Cheese. You got to want some of them. Tapu Lele used to be like Dedene in its value because of playability. I remember that. I was just back then. I wasn't fully into trading yet, or collecting, I mean, but I was watching the, the uh, card games. Oh, here we go. What do we got? Full Art Toxapex, and it's horribly off-center. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! That good Pokemon card quality. Got those good cutting machines. Look at that. Look at that. That's absurd. All right, that's one of your Full Arts, so hopefully you got two more in the box, or if the last one... Uh, it, it, the last one better be valuable. That's all I'm saying. That's crazy. What is that off-centeredness? 
It's weird because the common and commons are really well centered. I mean, this one's not off centered. This is a really good pull right here. So cheese, cheese, I'm telling you right now, this Sylveon is a decent pull. She looks good on the front. Let's check the back of the card. Looks gradable. Yeah, people like Sylveon, and that card's in very good condition. That is one of the GXs you would hope to pull from this set. That is definitely one of them. Weeping Bell, Multi Switch, Fletchender, Stuffle, Sandshrew, Cottony, Bell Sprout, Gligar, Turtonator, and Trevenant. Shred the Sylveon in front of Mary. Oh, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. <laughs> Mary's like, don't you dare. <laughs> We got Machoke, Energy Recycle, Slowbro, Trubbish, Jangmo O, oh, Wimpot, Gumi, Wishy Washy, Alone, Geodude, and Talon Flame. Gerson says, You two married? What? Sasselin says, Burn it, cheese. Man, we haven't burned anything on this channel in a long time. I, I think I'm concerned that the fumes that will come off of the foil and the ink will actually be carcinogenic. That's why I decided not to burn things. Stuffle, uh, Elomomola. What a terrible name for a Pokemon. Shred that Sylveon, and I'll shred you. <laughs> it's the birthday, Sylveon. Don't you freaking dare. <laughs> Got the Rita, Komala, Rescue Stretcher, Geodude, Pat Rat, Litwick, Pancham, Snow Runt, Mimikyu, and Victory Bell. So Mimikyu is pretty popular. Next pack. I'll get you. Burnt Pokemon cards is where Corona originated. That's right. It was a uh, Como O, a burnt Como O. The virus leapt. The virus leapt from a Golbat to a Como O to a person in a in a meat market in my house. <laughs> oh man! Only traps like Sylveon. <laughs> what do you do with the other normal cards? Uh, stack them up into a huge tower, I guess. Do you want to see what happens to all the bulk? I don't know if you guys have seen this before. That is a huge pile of bulk. Just kind of sitting in a big tower, collecting du dust. Maybe we'll use them as wood-burning logs someday. Maybe what we'll do is we'll get like a 100-pound package and we'll do a giveaway for 100 pounds of bulk. <laughs> 100 pounds. Do you sell the bulk? I, I have in the past before. It's honestly, it's just okay. It's not like really good. Uh, you know, I could I could do it, but it's like I'm so busy. I never have time to. It, it doesn't pay as well as you think it does because you have to get all the cards organized and counted and boxed up. And then when you ship the box, the shipping on the box is like $14. So it's like you do all this work just to pay a bunch of, just to pay a bunch of shipping. And uh, then you wait like, three weeks to for the guy to contact you back and tell you if you even got money for it and then finally you get paid and you're like wow i could have just worked on you know my main channel i didn't it's a lot of work that's all i have to say i kind of wish i could just hire somebody to come over and take care of it for me then yeah i'd probably go through the whole pile do like a halfsies with them or something not to sound weird but those hands i know i need a ring for my hand i'm actually one i'm not somebody who really likes jewelry at all but one thing I've always liked to wear are rings. I like one nice solid looking ring. And I had one that I believe got lost, but I need to order a new one since that one can't be found. And I haven't done it this whole time. Again, it's just one of those things that I kind of consider I'm too busy for, you know what I mean? Way too busy. Super busy, especially lately, man. We've been pumping out the content on my main channel to keep up with the fact that ad revenue is crashing. Ad revenue on YouTube is down about 50%. It's that bad. It's really bad. Yeah, ad revenue is absolutely disappearing. He's not wearing his wedding ring. It's Ram Ranch time, boys. <laughs> oh, God. Machoke, Machop, Helioptile, Murkrow, Sandshrew, Machop, Snow Runt, and Blissey. Blissey loves you, man. Ah, oh, man. Freaking Blissey. Last pack. Let's see what we got. So this is the first half, of the first half of the box. Unfortunately, we did get one full art, and the full art was horribly off-center. Salandit, Nosepass, Talo, Salazzle, and Trevenant. Oh, 
move that over here. Okay, so here's the second half of the box. Hopefully some better luck in here. You know, actually, I don't think the pulls will be considered too bad on the first half if it weren't for the off-center Toxopex. That just kills it, doesn't it? Because that's your, that's your most valuable card in the first half, and it's off-center. Just can't be off-center. Welcome to the 31-year-old club. Oh, no. There's a club. I don't want to join it. <laughs> Imagine getting older. Imagine being in the 90s, a kid in the 90s. Yeah, that's right. Some of you guys were born much later, didn't get to experience the wholesomeness of the 90s. You have no clue how wholesome the 90s were. Two tickets for code cards. Two tickets for code cards. No social media, no cell phones, no nasty cartoons, no Kim Kardashian. Well, there were, there were goofy cartoons, but they weren't like... You know what I mean? They weren't so woke yet, and they weren't so hypersexualized quite yet. People went outside and talked to each other. Holy, holy smokes. YouTube wasn't a thing. There was no YouTube, guys. Think about that. Now people just sit around playing 3D games and YouTubes, and I guess Nintendo 64 had just come out, and that was a huge deal. Like, it revolutionized gaming, so even that was kind of special in its own way. Let's see. Oh, we're still going through cheese. I'm sorry, guys. We'll get through all the... Everything that's been purchased, we'll catch up on that. Let's finish these packs for cheese. The 90s were a really nice time. The American economy was doing fantastic in the 90s. Absolutely fantastic. There was no huge bazillion dollars of debt, of student loan debt. That didn't exist. People were married. <laughs> There were families. People don't have flat. There's no families anymore. Nobody wants babies. Nobody wants to get married. Yeah, there were actually families and children. People had children. Can you even imagine that? In the 90s, there were lots of children. Now, there's lots of old people. Young people don't. I'm, I'm guilty myself. I don't have kids. I don't have kids. I have Pokemon cards. But it's like I'm living in this small condo and I can't get out of it because my wife's parents can't take care of themselves so we take care of them and the cost of housing is insane and the cost of college is insane so we've both got student loans that we're still trying to work off health care exploded child care is expensive yeah awful man totally different times really different times pokemon are my kids that's right <laughs> well you know it's not like my dad didn't have a hobby at his age right in the 90s, I'm sure my dad had his own hobbies. But he also had a, uh, a nice home at that point because the houses were like literally half as much. The houses are so expensive now. They don't want to build houses. All the old people don't want houses being built because then their houses won't appreciate in value. Like if they built a bazillion houses to keep up with population growth, what would happen is the houses would not appreciate. And investors and the elderly would not like that. They would hate it if their houses depreciated in value because of a surplus of uh, housing supply. They would hate it because everyone treated their house like an investment. That's what happened. So now you and I can't get a nice house because the houses have to be really expensive in order for them to keep going up and up and up in cost and value. Oh, it appreciates. It appreciates. Take a loan out on it. It appreciates. It's an appreciating asset. Take a loan out on it. Should we build more houses? Nah. If you build more houses, they won't appreciate. Houses are not like a company, right? Like a company makes product. Think about that. Companies make product, and that product is then purchased and turns a profit for the company. Houses do not do that. So the only way for houses to continue to appreciate is if the population continues to rise faster than the availability of the homes. See? So until we reach a point where we say we're not okay with houses being an appreciating asset, until we're at that point, the cost of houses will just continue to rise and rise and rise, and we'll do whatever we have to do to make sure that the cost of the houses continues to rise. That's exactly what's going on. So if you think housing is expensive today, wait another 50 years when you and I really are boomers. We're like 70. Wait until we're all 70, and if the houses are still appreciating, young people will be so screwed. There would just be no way for them to buy homes. They will be in perpetual debt if they want to own a home, even a small home. And who wants to have kids in a small home, you know? 
Like you put me in a three bedroom house, my wife and I will be like, hey, you wanna have kids? We got nothing else to do. Now we're in this like tiny condo because it's all we can afford because we got like, it used to be like $90,000 of student debt. Now I think it's much lower. We've been working on it. But, uh, well, and we're lucky to have gone to school for a valuable skill too. Like my wife's a software engineer. Not all ladies graduate with a software engineering degree. You know what I mean? Blazer says, good news. I'm getting a stimulus check, buying you a booster box, Mary. <laughs> Blazer, you're funny. <laughs> Oricori. Oh, you got both the Oricorios. RV says, I don't like kids. Yeah, kids can be a pain, but you know, there's not a lot else to do in life. You get old, you die, right? So those two things are a fact. You're born, you get old, you die. What else are you going to do? Just pick your nose and open up Pokemon cards for the rest of your life? It's not a very satisfying life. So you eventually have to have kids. The question is, when when should you have kids? Oh, nice, you got the Metagross. You want to have kids, you know, as soon as financially possible so that they're out of the house at a convenient time. User says, you know how government gave $3, $3 trillion to the banks to delay stock market loss by 30 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> I, I did see that. That was crazy. They're, well, they're really hoping that the economy wouldn't crash the way it did because they were still determining how bad the virus was going to be. And then Italy and Spain came along and they're like, oh, it's bad. <laughs> and so the stock market was like, nope, this is not going to be business as usual. This is going to be a catastrophe. This is going to shut everything down. And uh, that's exactly where we're at right now. So it's really shitty. <laughs> But yeah, you know, it's, it's also expensive and it's, it's just so silly. Really, really disappointing. And uh, Kuruna virus is really going to mess it up. Oh, man. You got wishy-washy and it's off-center again. Actually, the back of the card looks nice. I don't really see any edge wear or anything. The back of the card's good. The front of the card's clearly off-center. Top's thin, the bottom's thick. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was a bad luck there, Cheese. Bad luck on that booster box, I'd say. There's still four packs left. Maybe a secret rare in those last four packs. Maybe a secret rare someone in here, but not guaranteed, okay? Because you already got two full arts, and I, I think that's what you normally are supposed to get per booster box. Yeah, I agree. The, the cards were not... Uh, it's always a gamble, you know? You wanted a booster box. The booster box could have had the best pulls in it, or it could have mediocre pulls, and I think yours hits more toward the mediocre. You did pick up the Metagross and the Sylveon GXs, but it's just disappointing that your two full arts are, are off-centered. Yeah. It would really help if they were tens. Next one. Let's see. We got two packs left. Yeah. I think they were still trying... I think they were still in the mindset that they could probably save the economy from crashing too hard, but I think the realization now is that the virus is much scarier than everyone thought. And it does have a decent death rate. Ooh, the last pack is a white code card. I'll let you in on that. Let's find out what happens. Could just be a hollow rare, okay? So don't get your hopes up. Here we go. Oh, it is. It's a hollow rare alone golem, and it's atrociously off-center. Atrociously off-center. So bad. I'm sorry, man. That was a tough box, cheese. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Use the Sylveon as toilet paper. Oh my god. Cheese says no secret rare. That's right, Cheese. That's the thing. Boxes do not give you guaranteed secret rares. Sometimes you just get two full arts. That's it. So the secret rares are not guaranteed. Uh, I tell you what. Just for fun, why don't we do a pity pull for Cheese? Let's open up. I got these packs sitting right here. Let's find out what happens if we open one for you. Let's see what happens. Who knows? Maybe, maybe some crazy luck with this last pack. I have no clue. This is from the base set cheese. Yeah, those were tough pulls, man. But you never know going in what you're going to get. So there's always the opportunity for good pulls. But there's also an opportunity for tough pulls. How? Passimian, Rotom Dex, Grimer, Rowlet, Drowsy, Cutie Fly, Skarmory, Stene, and Cosmo. Um, cold pack. I'm sorry, cheese. How's it going, Weekend Wolf? He says, happy birthday. Thank you so much, Weekend Wolf. That's right. I'm a year closer to death. All right, let's 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 find out what we got going on. Jesus, like, I don't even want any of those cards. Yeah. 
Well, the Metagross is actually good. The Sylveon's probably the best card in your hand right here, right now. If, if I had to guess, let's see what place this over here. So we've got a few rares. The rares might be worth like a dollar or two. Okay, they're not worth too much. They're usually not worth less than a dollar at least. It, the problem is, will someone buy it? The Tapu Lele is well centered. The Tapu Lele might be a 10. Sylveon is well centered as well. Your Sylveon's got a little white dot right down there. I think it is a 9.5. I think it has a shot at a 10. The Lycan Rock. Let's take a look at the Lycan Rock. Yeah, the Lycan Rock might be a 10. You did well on the GXs, I'd say. Wishy Washy's not going to be very popular at all, but let's take a look at the value of it. It's got a dot on this corner, maybe a little bit on that corner. That, that one's no good. That one's about a 9. Here's the Metagross. He's well centered on the front as well. The Metagross might have a chance at a 10. So the Wishy-Washy and the Toxapex, this guy's no good. He's horribly off-center. The Wishy-Washy is also off-center. He's thick down here, thin up there. Uh, but the back of the card looks fairly good. I think that the Wishy-Washy might be a 9. However, again, I don't think Wishy-Washy is too popular. So it would probably cost more to grade it than it would earn you. So these two are junk. Metagross is probably legit. Lycanroc's probably borderline. If you hold on to him, someday he might be viable. The Sylveon's legit too, though. So your best cards right now are the Metagross and the Sylveon. I'll put them in the front. All right, there you go. Tough pulls. I'm sorry for that, cheese. That is the game sometimes, though, you know. Sometimes you get the tough pulls. That is the game. The Sylveon and the Metagross are legit, at least. Poor cheese. <laughs> I'm sorry, cheese. She's doing the sad face, sad emoji. Dude, somebody's got like their bass music playing. It's really annoying. It's like shaking my house right now. God, I hate condos so much. Can't wait to move into a regular suburbia. Fawzen says, happy birthday, my dude. It's my birthday as well. Oh, happy birthday. Huh, a lot of birth uh, April babies, huh? Dude, that's stupid. I don't know who's playing this bass music. It's probably the garbage music. I hate bass music. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Let's catch up with the purchases at this point. So, Temlet would like to open up two Hibben Fates. Let's grab our Hibben Fates. Where did I place them? Oh, shoot. Where did I place the Hibben? Temlet, I moved... Oh, here they are. All right, here we are. These are freshly opened. Good luck. My birthday, too. What a coincidence. Yeah, a lot of birthdays in April. I guess that's true for any month. See you later, Okami. Here we go. Pack number one. Two, three, four. Choop. What was nine months ago? I don't remember. Did you get anything for yourself? Nah, I guess I didn't. <laughs> guess I did not. You got the wimp pod template. Woof. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. <laughs> See you later, Okami. Shiny wimp pod. He's like a silverfish, right? I was reading that silverfish are some of the oldest bugs in existence. They're believed to be like 400 years old. Pretty crazy. Nice, shiny Arangaru as well. So that's, that's even if you weren't after these particular Pokemon. So Wimpod and Arangaru. All right. After Temlet, we have... Raymond, who says two tickets for the code cards. Sounds good. Yeah, silverfish are nasty. <laughs> this lotto has three tickets left in it. Lotto number two. Chi says any sword and shield? Yes, there is sword and shield. Let me get you in there, Raymond. Oops. Oh my god, somebody's playing that garbage bass music and it is making the wall shake. The sound is so bad. Hidden. Where the freak is that stupid music coming from? I should like call the cops. Yeah, that's right. I'm one of those guys. I hate it when people play their music too loud. Drives me crazy. It's like listening to a baby cry. 
Tamlet says, Hidden Fates. Good luck, Tamlet. Oops. He has like dubstep or something, exactly. <laughs> so, we know how some people celebrate Independence Day, says Hunter. What? Somebody playing Boots with the Fur, base boosted next door. God. I don't know what they're playing. Sounds terrible. They're like, here, let's make it. You ever notice that? People who like terrible sounding music always want to make everyone else around them listen to it. They're always like, here, everyone's going to love this music. It's so pumped up. No, <laughs> that is not the case. Fairy energy and Eevee. Why don't I give you the fairy energy? I, I think it's kind of considered rare at this point. It's not that rare, though. There's like a bazillion of these from Hidden Fates. The secret rare fairy energy is actually pretty rare. Toss that over there. Oh, I think they turned the music off. Thank God. It's like giving me a headache, dude. Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, oh, Paris, and... Oh, you got the pincer. No, I'm just kidding. The pincer's no good. Sorry sorry about that, Temlet. <laughs> you should blare Minecraft music. Maybe I will. I like that idea. That's some good thinking. They play their bass music too loud. I'll turn my Minecraft music up to a thousand. Blast their freaking... Mary says, you think you listen to good music? Oh, you don't know good music until you listen to cavemen banging stick and stones. What? All right. We got to get more hidden fates then. That'll show them. That's right, Wicked Wolf. RV says, cursed pole. That's right. <laughs> Toss that over there. Let's get some more hidden, huh? Oh, 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 oh. I'm opening it up like a goof. Got to open it up like a smart guy. Look at that huge Rayquaza. I have no clue if those will have any value in the future. They probably won't, because there's probably a bazillion of them. Oops. Template. Hidden and SNS. Hidden and SNS. Sounds good, Template. And Sword and Shield. Let's grab some Sword and Shield. Oh, that's Unified Minds. Here we are. Good luck, Temlet. We'll do the Hidden Fates last, so we'll put them on top before we cut them. Hidden Fates and Sword and Shield. Still looking for that Zacian. Zacian. Zacian Zamazanta. Two, three, four, and five. Dude, I just opened a Hidden Fates Zard tin, and it had two Zard GX promos. What could it mean? <laughs> Guaranteed Shining Gyarados, or Shining uh, Charizard. No, wrong words. Plot twist, Game Economist is a Chinese spy collecting our data with Pokemon cards. That's right. I work for China. China. <laughs> First pack's going to be greenback. Three, four. Wow, these packs look poorly made, man. So here we go. <laughs> she retrieval. Got yeah, big, big printing machine. It just goes print, 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 print all day. And then they're like, let's sell these cards. One, two, three, four. Throw that over there. We've got Great Ball, Potion, Rhydon, Minchino, Ponita, Cotney, Score Bunny, Silicobra, Minchino, and Stan Jurner. Next pack. Traps are supposed to be nice, not mean. That's right. Can't be a mean trap. That makes no sense. Raboot, Krabby, Qfont, Baltoy, Salandit, Ponita, Musharna, and Drampa. Next pack. Oh, don't look. No looking. No looking. Eldegross, Air Balloon, Palpad, Yamper, Grookie. Mary, you being mean. Q font, ball toy, chin chow, energy switch, and nice, you got the hollow Marty. I'll add that to your pack. Oops, hold on. There we go. <laughs> 
Bam. <laughs> Stone Fist, Gore Bunny, Rin the Ult, Sinistee, Wulu, Shelder, Ghastly, and Bulltund. Oh my god, Bulltund. Next pack. One, two, three, four. Charmeleon, Magmar, Scyther, Slowpoke. Oh, this is going to be the Hidden Fates. Okay, so tough pulls. You did get the Marnie, which is surprisingly valuable. The Marnie is surprisingly valuable in, in terms of um, value, even though she's not a full art or anything. So hold on to that one. Let's see if we get a hit in the Hidden Fates. Jesse and James Golem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Temley, I feel like you've been getting some rotten luck lately. Well, you did get the alternative art Mewtwo. I shouldn't say that. Shouldn't say that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We've got Misty's Gym, Charmeleon, Brock, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris. Oh, Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime. I'm so sorry, Temlet. Those are really That's tough pulls. Temlet getting the tough pulls. What do you guys think? Should we do pity pulls for Temlet? You guys vote whether Temlet gets a pity pull. Move that over there. There we go. Put this over here. Tablet says sword and shield. No problem. Where to put those? Here they are. Tell you what, let's find out. Let's find out what he pulls in this sword and shield before we do the pity pull. If you get a like the secret rare initization, I'm not gonna feel too guilty. But we'll see. Let's find out. Three. Two, I mean. <laughs> Three, four, and five. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. Evolution Incense, Salazzle, Bisharp, Zigzagoon, Muna, Snom, Grookey, Shelder, Galarian Ponita and Drampa. Uh-oh. Drampa's here to make the housing market perpetually move upward because it's a, quote, appreciating asset, even though it doesn't actually earn money. It only earns money as long as it becomes a rarer over time. God damn it. Freaking, freaking Drampa. That's why they won't build any homes. Drampa's back there going, no, nah, don't build any homes. They don't need homes. I need my home to appreciate, even though... Oh, I'm not going to go on a rant. I'm going to go on a rant if I keep talking. How's it going, Mary Alice? We have a turn in for the night. We'll watch the replay tomorrow. Have a good night and happy birthday. Thank you very much, Mary. Thank you very much. Haunter, Vitality, Mawile, Ponita, Sobble, Veractus, Mudbray, Grookey, and Inteleon. Grandpa coming in clutch. Big ups, Grandpa. <laughs> Next pack. One, two, three, four. What do we have? Quillfish, Poke Kid, Energy Search, Gossip Fleur. Diglett, Scaruppi, Hoot Hoot, Cottony, and Rhyperior. Oh, man, Tamlet, these packs are so cold. Oh, Tamlet, you got one more white pack. This is it. Secret rare. Zacian V. It's possible. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, it's, a, it's something. I don't know if it's going to be secret rare, though. Let's see. Keldeo V. Oh, dude. Tamlet's buying some more hidden. Tell you what, Tamlet. That's some really tough luck, and I want to give you a hand. So we're going to do two hidden. Let me throw in a free sword and shield. Let's find out what's in the hidden. If nothing good, we'll do an extra sword and shield too. Jeez Louise, man. Tamla, I don't know what to say. Those are really cold. Oops. Smack my fingers on the lamp. Here we go. Ah, Yes. There we go. We got a hit. Let's find out what it is. Switch, Ferrothorn, Raboot, Baltoy, Wooloo, Joltik, Salandit, Clobopus, Metal Saucer, and Galarian Obstagoon. I am so sorry. <laughs> I tried. That was the bonus pack. The pity pull, as we like to say. Maybe there'll be something hot right here. We'll see. Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge, Misty's Bending Over. Coughing, Cubone, <laughs> Leaf Energy, and Brock's Training. Whew. Here we go. 
Rin, if you're looking to get into the Discord, the Discord server is always linked in the description of the live stream. You're welcome to join. Oh my god. Oops, I put this in the wrong spot. Celestila. Celestila. Shining Celestila. Temlet's on a losing streak. He's going to need another bad luck, or uh, what do they call that? The unlucky? Cursed. He's going to need another cursed roll. Misty's extremely determined. DL says, we still doing mega custom? We still doing mega custom. We are now. What do you guys think we should do for Temlet? We opened a bonus sword and shield for him. Should we open anything else? Oops, that's sticking in my fingers. Here, Temlet. Temlet, I'm giving you another, I'm giving you another booster pack. I'm giving you two more booster packs. So these are for Temlet, Sword and Shield, and Sun and Moon Base. Let's get these for Temlet, and then we'll move on to taking care of Dio. Good luck, Temlet. Sorry about your tough pulls. That's three free packs for you. Hopefully this breaks. Oh, that's a greenback. <laughs> well, maybe it's reverse hollow Marty. And it is not. Hibben. Hibben. Good choice. Two, three, four. Tell you what, I'll do you a favor too, Tamla. I'll open up a fresh box to make the... Uh... Oh, nice. You actually did get a hot pull. That's Umbreon. Nice. So that was the Pity Pack. I hope that helps you out a little bit, Temlet. You bought a lot of cards and you got some tough pulls. He's looking real clean on the front and the back. That's a solid pull right there. That might be a 10. Very nice. So I'll go ahead and add that to your pack. Yeah, you're getting some tough pulls. I wanted to help you there with two, two booster packs. Okay, so we need to put together... We need to put together a mega custom pack... For DL, let's get that going. I'm gonna pull your your Hidden Fates pack from a fresh round of Hidden Fates. So let me get this open. Let me just get this open real fast. That way you don't pull Shining Charizard away from Temlet, who would probably cry himself to sleep if that were to happen. <laughs> I know I would. <laughs> so we get some fresh Hidden Fates. Opened right here in the live stream. Oops, I just dropped my cards. Why has it got to be sticky, man? Why has it got to be sticky? So these are fresh. Let's grab you a Shining Legends. Now we need one of each, right? So Sword and Shield, Unbroken Bonds, Guardian Rising, Mines, and we have a base set right here. Sweet. That's everything we have for sale. One of each. See you later, Gerson. Have a nice night. Good luck, DL. Let's see what you got. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oops. And seven. Sounds good, Alex. We'll get that in a minute, okay? We go in, oops, we go in order of purchases. Yeah, so DL is next. All right, DL, looks like we're starting with your Hibben. Good luck on your Hidden Face. Two, three, four. And what do we got? Brock's Pewter City Gem, Chansey, Graveler, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff. Misty's determined. Misty's so determined. She's like, I mean, look at that determination. She's like, oh, man. So determined. She's saying, please, Daddy, I'm super determined. Next pack. <laughs> the Pokey Gods demand a sacrifice. Let's see. Switch, How, Great Ball, Purloin, Croconaw, Pikachu, Ekans, Zorua, Eveltal, and Manaphy. Tough luck on that. Actually, oh, that's a reverse hollow. That's why. I thought there was something weird going on with that card. Next pack is going to be this base set pack. What's going on with the base set? TCC, give my Metagross to Metalax. I certainly can. I'm trying to remember where I put Metalax's pack. I believe he has a pack. Cloyster. Yeah, Misty's determined to give you her Cloyster. That's what's going on. Next pack. Two, three, four. This is not for children. <laughs> Caraplast, Honedge, Pikachu, Pidov, Bonsuite, Latias. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's next? 
What's the next pack? We've got Multi Switch, Komala, Enhanced Hammer, Petalil, Trubbish, Machop, Alo and Geodude, Mudbray, Got Gothita. Oh, and Toxapex. Oh my god, it's the card everyone wants. Toxapex. So you did get a hit, luckily. Glad for that. Wait, why did I put these here? I'm confused. Did I sleeve the Young Goose up? I don't know what I was doing there. I'm sorry, man. I'm losing my mind is what I'm doing. So you got a Toxapex and you got a very determined Misty. She's like, you want to see my Cloyster? She's a Water-type trainer, that's why. What do you guys get your minds out of the gutter, weirdos? Cleffa, War Turtle, Rhydon, Rhyhorn, Polyswag, Diglett, Bellsprout, Jigglypoof, Porygon, and Volcanion. I can get you the Volcanion if you want. He's kind of a cool card. He's kind of a cool card. She's a Water-type trainer. Get your minds out of the gutter. Gross. Ugh. Gross. Ew. What the heck's wrong with you guys? Eldegrash, Air Balloon, Palpag, Gasly, knocking the cards over. Ponyard, Sizzlepeed, Yamper, Clobopus, Roselia, and Stonjourner. I would say Cold Pulse there. You got a Toxapex GX and a Volcanion and a Determined Misty. Tough pulls, I'd say, Dio. A little bit tough tonight. I don't know what's going on, Dio. Maybe you do. Have you sacrificed to the Poke Gods? Because if you have not made a Poke God sacrifice, that could be it. Here, let's put the very determined Misty in the front. The Poke Gods demand sacrifice. It's not an option. Nighty says, how much are the big randoms? Uh, $37, I think. <laughs> that's what DL paid, and I guess that's probably a price we put together in the past. So I think that's correct. After DL, Temlet is opening up some hidden fates. Good luck, Temlet. So Temlet... These are from the same box. You're getting all the same box for these Hibbins. One. And two. Metal Axe, huh? I gotta get the Metagross to Metal Axe. What do we got? Screw Misty. I, well, that's the whole idea. Three, four. We've got Lieutenant Surge, Misty, Jinx, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Shiny Magnemite, and Arbok. All right, so you did get a hit. It's not going to be a full art, but it is a Shiny Magnemite. Next pack. It's being a little stingy tonight, don't you guys think? Come on, Hibben Fates, do something. Scyther, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Ekans, and Clefable. Wow. Man, those are stingy pulls. I don't know what the deal is tonight. All right. I'm going to keep the Umbreon in the front because he's so cool looking. There you go, Temlet. Temlet's still going after that Shining Mewtwo, I bet. Alex Hickey wants two tickets for the code cards. Sounds good. We've got, a, we've got one more ticket for Lotto 2. Lotto 2 is for two booster boxes of code cards. They are mixed. Probably will contain some sword and shield. Who's this again? Alex Hickey. I'm just going to say Alex H. If he eats it, he ascends to heaven. What? Weekend and Wolf says, did the big lotto go yet? Nope, not yet. But you know what? It's actually smaller than a regular That's lotto at this point. So it is getting very close. Regular, the big lotto has gotten much smaller. Do you need to donate to get cards? Yes, so Joker, you need to use the Streamlabs link. There's a Streamlabs link that you use. It's in the description of the live stream. That's what you use to pay for cards, okay? 90 wants one Hidden Fates, and so does China. Uh, why don't I call him China? Cheese. <laughs> so we'll start with 90. Hidden. Hidden. So we're starting off with 90. What are you going to get? 90's had some really great luck this round. 90, you're, shipping's tonight. Remember, we're shipping out the cards tonight. So 90, you're going to be getting some cool cards in the mail. 
Magmar, Charmeleon, Staryus, Lowpoke, Voltor, Pikachu, Ekans, Erica's Hospitality, and Zapdos. Tough pulls on that pack, Nighty. Sorry about that. Let's see what Cheese runs into instead. Was Cheese going to pull the hot pull? Let's see. Guy's going to make me open a pack here in a minute. I'm going to be like, oh, they, they mind swept. <laughs> no, I don't do that. So let's see. Nighty's done. Now we do cheese. Right. <laughs> Next pack. One, two, three, four. We've got Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge, Misty, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypoof, Chansey. Oh, okay. Uh, that's going to be the Rockets, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be Jesse and James. Honestly, Jesse and James, as shiny as they are, they're not that valuable. Sorry about that, cheese. It's better than nothing, I suppose, right? So I would rather have Jesse and James rather than a completely cold pack. But yeah, that's not a terrific pull. After Cheese pulled Jesse and James, Temlet also pulled a pack of Hidden Fates. You underpaid by a dollar there, Temlet. Don't worry about it. Just uh, keep that. Uh, don't do it twice, in other words. But yeah, don't worry about it. I'll cover the extra dollars on me. Here we go. Next pack. My sweet for Cheese. Minesweep for cheese. <laughs> Two, three, four. Here we go. Sabrina, Metapod, Pokemon Center Lady, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Gabite, and Lapras. Pulling shiny Gabite. He looks well-centered. Not bad. A hit is a hit, and I think this one's a decent one. Next pack. So... Poke Beast says Lotto 2. All right, Lotto 2 is done. Fold this in half. And we'll go ahead and tape this up. There we go. And we'll do this just like last time. Oh, come on. One of them sticking. <laughs> Since it's such a small lotto, I'm just going to perform it straight in front of you guys without the drum. All right, so that's all the tickets. Really not that many. This is why we can do it this way. And uh, good luck, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling them. Split it in half. All right. Oh, God. Shuffle again. Split it in half. Shuffle again. Split it in half. Sh oops. Shuffle again. All right. And now I'm simply going to pick one out of the center, and that's the winner. Good luck. Let's see who won. Wouldn't it be crazy if it was Sagar again? He won twice already. And his odds are 1 in 5. So he has a 1 in 5 odds of winning a third time. All right, I see a purple energy. And the winner is Sunny. Sunny actually won. So tough luck on Sagar this time. Sagar's not complaining. He got two rounds already. Sunny won the ticket lotto. I'm the ticket lotto. I'm sorry, the code card lotto. All right, Sonny, be sure to contact me with your shipping address. I'll need it. These are yours. He saw S and he got excited. I would too. I, <laughs> that's totally understandable. Woo. So let me wrap these up right now like I did last time. Actually, I don't have a bag next to me. Let me go grab a bag. I'll be right back, guys. For my shipping supplies. All right, so somebody else won <laughs> for the first time. We've only ran this three times. Oh man, there's not a lot of room on the table. Let me just do this in my lap so I don't knock the camera down. Fold that over, sweet. 
fold this over. Get this shipping ready. So this will go out tonight, but Sunny, you'll need to contact me on Discord to give me your address so I know who I'm shipping it to. So, oh, sorry, this is gonna be real noisy. And it's ready to go, it just needs a label. Place it over here. That goes with the Sagars. How's it going, Concrete Ducks? He says, if it isn't the birthday economist. That's right, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me, I'm old. <laughs> Nighty says, Minesweeper Cheese. All right, so Nighty's taking another pack of hidden. Good luck. Doob 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 doo, Scooby, doob doob Toss this over here. Two, three, four. Move this over here. Oops. Charmeleon, Brock, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Ah, Koga's Trap, and Lapras. Tough luck, Nighty. Nighty, I thought for sure you were going to pull the full art or something. TCC, can I see my pulls? We'll do that in one minute. Let's go ahead and open your pack first. Temlet, you ready? Oh, sticky. Actually, if we're going in order, it's this one. And we are going in order. I'm a slave to going in order. I have no choice. The OCD takes over. <laughs> Nighty says, damn. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you get bad luck nights. It happens. <laughs> it happens eventually. Okay, here we go. Lieutenant Surge, Misty, Scyther, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Magikarp, Kangaskhan, and Weezing. Bad luck to both of you guys. Tough, man. Okay. We have, in Temlet's pack, this nice, well-centered Gabite, a well-centered Umbreon that might be a 10, Celesteela, Magnemite, Keldeo V, My Little Pony. You got a Marnie, which is surprisingly valuable because people love Marnie. Orangaroo, Wimpod, Pinsir, not so good. Fairy Energy, probably not so valuable, probably like a dollar. Greninja Zorark, the donation from Mahasvara that is a Shining Mewtwo full art. The Alternative Art Mewtwo, which is your coolest card here. The Ancient Mew. Oh, I should sell another, I should sell another raw card from my vintage collection. But oof, Celebi, Naganadel. Mega Sableye Tyranitar, and Malamar. That is your collection. You got a nice set of cards here on the table. Too bad you didn't pull this one. God, you were close. You were close, man. So close. So damn close. And Mahaswar is like, go ahead and cut that pack in half. <laughs> he snatched up that Shining Charizard the other day too. But I had just finished pulling, so I was done. I wasn't going to open anymore. Is that the Mewtwo that's cut in half? Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Hey, I want to sell a vintage card or two if you guys are interested. I think I'm going to try selling one vintage card each time we go live. So why don't I pick... Actually, we're giving this one to Steelix. Steelix, you're getting the Dark... Not Steelix. You, uh, uh, Wellix. Wellix is getting the Dark Steelix as a gift. It's my birthday gift to, to Wellix. And why don't I sell... Maybe you guys will be interested in this really lovely looking Alakazam. So there's an Alakazam here. I consider him excellent plus, and I'm I'm selling him for seventeen dollars. If anyone wants him, he's from the base set. Where's my PSA ten dark Charizard? I know Concrete Ducks. PSA is not grading cards anymore. They are on lockdown. They were given orders by California to shut their business down. So we're just waiting for them to get back to work. We've had this whole week, and they have done nothing. They have not worked on anyone's cards, which is crazy when you think about how much money they must be losing so we just have to wait i guess it's, it's going to be a long wait guys it's going to be a long wait coronavirus got everyone cheese is like can we shred jesse and james we actually can shred jesse and james that's not even a valuable card so we'll give this one to wellix for fun i'll try to ship that tonight if i can remember He's probably worth something, actually, to tell you the truth. He's probably worth, like, ten bucks. But I wasn't sure if Wellix had one of these Dark Steelix. We're doing the shipping tonight. 
One of the things I'd like to start doing is cleaning my desk off of uh, my loose raw cards, my vintage raw cards. I'd like to start cleaning it up because I got too many of them. So we'll give this one to him if I can remember to ship it. And this one's for sale if you guys want a closer look at him. He seems expensive, but he's really he's not because this card will probably never lose value. This is a base set Alakazam. He's in fairly good conditioning. The centering on the front looks good. He's holographic. The back of the card actually looks nice as well. You'll notice. Probably even gradable, to tell you the truth. That's how in demand the base set is. For Temlet. For Temlet. What? <laughs> so what's going on here? I think Nighty just bought you a pack, Temlet. Are you ready? Nighty just bought you a pack. Let's go. We can Wolf says any scratches? Yes, there's probably some surface scratching. Let's take a closer look. It's better if we zoom so I don't have to hurt my eyes. Ah, uh, there we are. So there's some there's very light scuffing, I'd say. It's actually not too bad. If you were to just display the card, that would be one thing. Probably this would grade like a five or a six, if I had to guess. Probably about a five or a six. Hopefully a six. All right, so this is from Nighty to Temlet, a very generous donation. Let's find out what happens. You never know. Hibbin fates, man. It's a stingy set, but sometimes it's crazy, and it's nothing. <laughs> Whoa. So that was all the packs from one of the Premium Powers collections, and it gave nothing. It gave nothing, guys. It gave... There were, like, some shining Pokemon in there, but there were no full arts at all. Jesus. Sunny says, won't let me send you a message. What, on Discord? Sunny, if you if you just post a message in the Discord server, somebody will probably help you figure out how it works. There's no reason why you shouldn't let you send me a message. That's silly. All right, hold on. Let's get this open. I think I just saw Temlet tell me to give 90 Umbreon. Oops, move this over here. Oh, I thought that 90 was doing a donation. Were you guys doing a trade and I didn't know? <laughs> Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Template, you gotta offer the trade to me, man. I got the packs. I got the power. I would have traded you. I probably would have traded you two packs for that Umbreon. Did you know that? I probably would have traded you two for the Umbreon. So let's see. I want to check out that Umbreon again. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be discriminating because I believe he's a ten. Yeah, he's probably a ten. And if he comes out as a ten, the actual value of the card is probably close to forty minus the cost of grading, which would probably end up being about twenty-two. Which means I could sell you. I could have given you two Hibben Fates for him. Template says, I offered a trade. Oh, I probably didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I'm like, I'm constantly very busy with my eyes because of, it's a very visual thing that I do on the table. Here you go. Pop this in the 90s pack. Oh, right. I'm going to put it behind the Shining Volcanion so that the Shining Volcanion protects from the pin. There we go. If it comes back a 10. But I, it looks like a 10. It honestly does. And you know what? I kind of want to open up a pack of Hidden Fates myself at this point. I <clears throat> I opened up one earlier today. I would like to open a second one. Here we go. What do I get? Am I going to have the same luck as you guys? Probably. <laughs> Toss that over here. One, two, three, four. We've got Giovanni, Brock, Koga, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris. Oh, I got something. Well, it's not Charizard because there's no foot here. Ah, Bonnet. <laughs> I've already got Bonnet. I've got like a hundred of them. <laughs> oh, well, I shouldn't complain. I'm happy to pull this uh, full art shiny. I'm, I'm happy for that. Darn. <laughs> I was hoping. Wouldn't that be wild if I picked up another Charizard? God, I'd love to have a second one at this point. I've opened so many of these packs. When I saw the full art, I got excited. But you know, even when you pull the full art, you have like a 1 in 20 chances or something like that. It's some ridiculous pull rate. <laughs> Alright, move them over there. Wow, that was cool. 
Maybe I should open a second one. I'm gonna open a second one. I'll trade my whole bag, he says. Well, the, the Umbreon would have been the one card I would have been interested in, I think. I don't know if, about the rest of them. Let me see. The thing is, Umbreon's one of the cards I don't have very easily. I've got a lot of the other cards in your bag, because like you, I open a lot. Oh, nice. I, I got two pulls. I got a Shining Inke, and I'll take that. That Inke is adorable. Look at that. I'm happy with that. I'll probably send him off right away. Well, let me just check the back in case there's some huge flaw on the back. There's not. All right. Sweet. I got two hot pulls tonight. That's not normal. Normally, I get all the ship pulls. <laughs> Normally, I mind sweep. Hold on, guys. I'm on a roll. I got to open up one more pack. I'm on a roll. What do you think I should do? Shining Legends or Hidden Fates? I'm going to do Shining Legends. Should I have been pulling from the same box for the Shining Legends? I opened uh, about half a booster box of this already. Dylan says, happy birthday, dude. Keep up the awesome work. My dog passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I just got his ashes today, so I'm a bit depressed. I've been watching your vids and it's helping a lot. I'm sorry to hear that, Dylan. This is the nature of life, Dylan. The best thing to do is to just kind of let go. You know what I mean? That's all you can do. It's all part of the grieving process. Scraggy, Croconaw, Zekrom, and Raichu. Well, okay. Well, we got another hit. I'm going to keep going until I stop getting hits. So Raichu's not really a card I'm super hyped for, but let's try again. Let's try again. Don't be shy. So how many packs have I opened tonight? Four? This is going to be five. Come on, birthday packs. You guys think I'll get lucky because it's my birthday? It's all part of the grieving process, man. Just going to hurt for a while. That's all there is to it. Go Lurk, Shroomish, Quillfish, Stunfisk, Bulbasaur, Golette, Lipard, Marshadow. I'm going to open one more and that's it. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Open one more and go crazy. Oops. Okay. We want to open it from the top. Probably the last pack. I have to control myself because... A birthday gift? Aw, thank you so much. <laughs> Wolf says no. Open 10 more. <laughs> ah, Reshiram. All right. Well, that's my luck tonight. Uh, actually, not too bad. I picked up the Inke and I picked up the Bonnet. That's kind of cool. I don't think the Bonnet's especially popular. The Inke is, though. The Inke is a sweet pull. Okay. Tamlet says hidden, and I'll trade my whole bag except for Mew and Mewtwo. All right. Let's take a look at your whole bag real fast. So you've got a Gabite, a Celesteela, Magnemite, Keldeo, the Marnie actually is not so bad, a Rangaroo, Wimpod, Fairy Energy, Greninja, Mewtwo, but oof, Celebi, Naganadel, Mega Sableye, Tyranitar. Is he off center? I kind of like Mega Sableye, Tyranitar. Oh, he's got this line on the top. Check that out. Interesting. That's exactly what that Charizard Reshiram had. It had one of these, except it had it at the bottom of the card. Oh, snap. Oh, they're going to send it back to me and say that it wasn't actually their fault. Oh, I bet I just didn't... I bet I was new to it, so I didn't see it. Oh, that's too bad. The guy who sent it in, he's going to be disappointed to learn about that. Okay, this is clearly off-center right on the front. So this is off-center on the front. It's thin on the left. This is definitely got the line at the top, so it's no good. N Naganadel's not too exciting. Celebi's okay. Badoof's okay. There's the ancient Mew. He's real cool. Mewtwo... Zorark, Greninja, I'm, I'm examining your cards for you is what I'm doing here. So the Zorark, Greninja, slightly off-center to the right. He's got one tiny, tiny, tiny dot. Fairy Energy, I'm not too interested in. Pinsarin, I'm not too interested in. Wimpod's not popular. Rangaroo's not popular. The Marty's legit. Keldeo, I, I happen to have a sweet spot for Magnemite, but the problem for you is I already have like a bazillion of these. I think I shipped like four of them off to be graded. So I'm actually just waiting for them to return. Celesteela... Looking in great condition. A lot of the cards look great condition. It's just, I've got these. I've opened up like a bazillion hidden fates already. Yeah, so that's the problem. I, you don't really have... The, the Umbreon I did not have. The Umbreon I lacked. You traded the one card. <laughs> a lot of those I have, because I've opened up, like you, I've opened up a bazillion hidden fates. Let's open up a pack for you, Temlet. So you got a hidden fates pack. Good luck on your pull. I do wish you well. You've opened a lot of cards on this channel. It's always a lot of fun. It's too bad that the Mega Sableye Tyranitar had a line in it because I would have probably taken that because I just 
like him. That's it. I just happen to like Tyranitar a lot. I like Magnemite a lot as well, but I have so many of them already. I, I've opened up a, a lot of Hidden Fates. Here we go. <sighs> Coughing Vaporeon. Tough luck on that, Temlet. Sorry. Tough luck on the Hidden. Then we have Cheese. He says, Hidden Fates me. Here we go. So Cheese is going next. It's crazy that you guys are going one at a time. See, if it was me, I'd go three at a time to make sure somebody doesn't swipe them. You know what I'm saying? So if you get a, if you get a tough pull and you open up the next two of them, then there's a much higher chance of you snatching up that full art. Let's see. We've got Metapod, Pokemon Center Lady, Scyther, Magikarp, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Shiny Magneton. Oh, that's another card I'm a big fan of. And you got the Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. Very good. Double full art there, huh? Not bad. Too bad the Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno is kind of common at this point. It's kind of like the Team Rocket cards. You know, I think people really went crazy because they wanted these cards so bad. The uh, Shining Charizard. So a bazillion Hidden Fates got opened and then it got reprinted. God, I love that Magneton, though. I'm just going to have a whole stack of those somewhere someday. <laughs> That's cheese. DL says, you can't leave digging hidden fates. Here's a birthday gift for you. Oh, thank you so much, DL. DL giving me the hidden fates birthday gift. Let's find out what happens. DL, if this is a shining Charizard, that would be super epic. Of course, it could be a Sylveon, an Umbreon, a Cynthia, or it could be nothing, which it probably is. <laughs> Koga's Trap, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Jigglypuff, <laughs> it's Ekans and Snorlax. Nice try. Thank you so much. I appreciate it enormously. Looking for those crazy moments in the stream, you know? <laughs> Woo! We got three packs left from that previous box. Let me get the next box open. Nighty says, I want that Hidden Face Umbreon. I know. He's so good. He's so good. He's a beautiful card. DL says, oof. T says, hit me. HIV me. HIV me. That sounds like HIV. HIV me, bro. Give me with that good AIDS. Oh, no. It was an AIDS pandemic in the 80s. We don't even talk about it. We don't even talk about it. So these are fresh. I'll put them up here. And let's grab... This is for who? Cheese? Good luck, Cheese. What do we got? We got Magmar, Charmeleon, Jinx, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Misty, Cerulean City Gym, and Clefable. <sighs> Tough, dude. He says, I think we should open Hot Poles Only. We should do a stream called Hot Poles Only again. That's actually really fun. Oh. Put the cold pa <laughs> put the cold packs away for tonight. Oh man, if we had X-ray vision, I would do that for you guys. Woo! So there has been absolutely no interest in Lotto 1. You know what that means? We're changing it. There has been zero interest at all in Lotto 1. I'd like to change that. I'm going to put that card back. Let's get a card people are interested in. I noticed nobody's buy any tickets for it. We've got this Umbreon, the Lapras, Eevee Snorlax, Gengar Mimikyu, and Celebi Venusaur. What would you guys like? Vote on the one you'd like. Celebi Venusaur? Gengar Mimikyu, Eevee Snorlax, Lapras, Umbreon. Actually, you know, I don't think we could do the Eevee Snorlax. He's too hard to obtain. Uh, maybe the Lapras, though, because I got two of the Lapras. What do you guys think? We have those. What do we have in this stack over here? Just check this stack real fast. Cheese says, I paid for three packs. Oh, gotcha. Okay, we'll get we'll get three packs open for you. Here's the Pikachu Zekrom that nobody wanted. Guzzlord, Lapras... Dragonite, I forgot about that. Moltres, Aptos, Articuno, another Pikachu, Zekrom, Nidoking, another Mega Sableye Tyranitar. You know what? We're going to do the Mega Sableye Tyranitar, and when that's over, we will do Gengar Mimikyu for you guys. How does that sound? How does that sound? 
Gengar Mimikyu right afterwards, but only after this one's done. So we got two of the Mega Sableye Tyranitars. We're sending one of them out. So Lotto 1 has been swapped up to Mega Sableye Tyranitar. When that's over, we'll do the Gengar. Hope that entices you guys a little more. I guess I'll... Man, there's not room... There's not enough room for all of this. It really is not. All right. Cheese opening up some Hibben Fates. What are you going after, Cheese? I'm curious. What card are you looking for? Cynthia? Probably Cynthia. Two... And three. What do we got? I'm pretty happy. I pulled a full art tonight. I pulled a um, a bonnet. And the Inke is kind of cool, too. I like the Inke. <sighs> Lapras Snorlax. Pack number one, Lapras Snorlax. We've got Charmeleon, Chansey, Giovanni, Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Farfetch'd, Eevee. Oh my god. This is going to be three for three. Good luck, Cheese. Kevin, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Good luck, Cheese. Misty, Caterpie, Paris, Seconds, Psyduck, Staryu. Oh, it's three for three. Oh my god, Cheese. Those were really cold. Cheese, I would give you... I would give you the pity pulls, but I do not do pity pulls on Hidden Fates anymore because they are simply too expensive. I'm so sorry, Cheese. Really tough pulls. All right, let's see what's going on next. What's going on next? I'm going to rotate out this vintage card. There didn't seem to be too much interest in them. Let's pick a different vintage card. What do we got? That's another Alkazam. I wonder what people are interested in. She's a sad cheese. I'm so sorry. I hate seeing cold pulls like that. Oh, here's a Snorlax. You guys like Snorlax, don't you? DL says, Gengar didn't win Lotto 1. My internet went out for a bit. Uh, I have two of the Mega Sableye Tyranitars. We're going to do him first. I said, after he's done, we'll get the Gengar... Gengar uh, Mimikyu right afterwards. Also, I'm trading out the vintage card to Snorlax. Also, I don't have a price on him, so we'll look it up in a minute. Tamlet says, Hidden Fates. So that is a Jungle Snorlax. It's a vintage raw card. He's probably in light play condition. I haven't decided on the price for the Snorlax. I was going to look it up right after this. We got Lieutenant Surge, Cocos Trap, Brock, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Slowpoke, and Snorlax. You know, when it comes to the vintage cards, you really don't risk anything because you're just buying it directly. And you're buying it at the market price. And But you know, when you buy a pack, it's a gamble between getting a really good pull and getting a cold pull. So that's the that's the trade-off. Buying a gamble versus buying a for sure thing. Snorlax is pretty cool. Let's find out. Snorlax jungle hollow and let's type in lp for light play and i'm going to go by buy now price and we're going to shuffle that down by lowest first actually there's some oh right here so there's some like there's some what's the word really quality sellers who i'll show you right now this is this is a good example right here so this guy, he's been selling cards for the entire time I've ever gone shopping for cards. He generally asks a higher price than usual, but he also delivers probably higher quality cards. So when you see those guys, sometimes you pay a little more for that card, but is I would say it's a safer purchase. It looks like I'm going to go ahead and do $11 on the Snorlax, if anyone's interested in this jungle Snorlax. Oh, I better not run over this wire. Oops, I'm going to knock my whole camera over. Snorlax is going to be $11 light played. That guy doesn't ship to Canada. Oh, so you've looked at him before. I got gotcha. you. That's because shipping to Canada is expensive, man. <laughs> you would think it would not be expensive because you're literally you're attached to the United States. A truck should be able to drive through 
and deliver all the packages. And yet it's still the same as if I was shop shipping to Austria. So I don't know how, how it works and all that, but it is pricey, dude. Sorry, the camera's kind of off. So the Snorlax is 11. Fix all these. Weekend Wolf says it doesn't make any sense. That's because Canada isn't real. I know, right? Look at all that energy, man. This represents, by the way, how many cards we open tonight. See how thick that is? That's how many cards we open in one live stream. And we're only an hour and 30 minutes in. So this live stream is a lot of fun. We see a lot of packs get opened. That's a good deal. Someone buy them. I, I think it's a very fair deal. Yeah, I think that's a fair deal. I looked at the lowest price Snorlax, and I think he started at 9, and I went up to 11, because usually I don't trust the lowest price. Usually it's somebody who knows the card's more, like, heavily played. So I moved up a few. Internet out. Did anyone buy Snorlax? DL? No one did. It looks like you just bought Snorlax. Here you go. All right. Thank you, DL. He's a happy Snorlax. What else do I got? Actually, I think I had two of those guys. Did I have two of them? That's called Fable. Here he is. Uh, that one's a little more... This one's got more on it. I'll, I'll put that one down for seven, maybe? I think I'll do seven on that Snorlax. I think he's closer to heavy play from the number of scratches I saw on the front. I'm going to put him down as P for played, and it's just going to be 7. Selling off my vintage. Trying to clear up a little room on this desk. It's so crowded over here. Like, dude, it's crazy crowded. What am I going <laughs> to... I would love to have my desk just have more room on it. It never feels like I have room on it. Always feels like I'm fighting. Oh, by the way, I didn't have on anything on eBay that sold recently, did I? No. All right. I listed those to Denny's, and I listed mine cheaper than anyone else's, and they still have not sold, which is interesting. I wonder if the demand for them is going down at all because nobody's playing the game, right? The TC TCG game, uh, people are probably playing the online version of the game, but I've, I'm guessing because of coronavirus, nobody's playing the physical game because they stay away from everyone. Weekend Wolf says, I love Fossil Muck. I might have them if you want them. Fossil Muck? Give me a minute. Oh God, my folders are like way back behind me. More Hibbins. More Hibbins. Give me a minute. Try to sit down without falling here. Doing a balancing act. There we go. I brought my vintage folders over. Cheese says more Hibbins. Oh, you got it, Cheese. They're all yours. Here we go. One, two, three. So how would you guys feel if my wife streamed some Animal Crossing from the card channel? I figure there's nothing really to lose. I think she, if she did it from my main channel, I might lose some subscribers who are like, hey, I only go to this channel for Monster Hunter. But the card channel is really more for my hobbies, and I think that would be okay. What do you guys think? Would you like that? She's even thinking about doing a camera. Then you can stare at my wife's face all day. <laughs> Told her if she loses her job, she'll have to open up an OnlyFans. <laughs> Star you, Ekans, Caterpie. Paris, ah, Caterpie Electrode. Holy smoke, these packs are stingy, dude. Three, four. So we have, we had some uh, drama yesterday. It's a, a little, it's so crazy. I didn't talk about it in my mainstream. Oh, cheese. I don't know what to say, cheese. You just got raked over the coals with those packs, dude. They came out of a sealed box, too. You know, if we were opening those up from already opened product, we would, right now, we'd be questioning if those were, like, searched 
Those were 100% not searched. They came right out of these sealed boxes that you saw on the thumbnail. Dude. I'm grabbing more boxes. Jeez. Jeez, it has been a tough night for you. I would argue it's been kind of tough for Template too. Kind of some cold pulls in here. Oh, there's Quip Quip. You gonna open some packs? They've been having tough luck, babe. You're waiting for me? What were you waiting for? How sleepy are you? Super sleepy? Not anymore. Are you all awake? Yeah. Maybe if you blow on these packs, they'll have really good luck in them. No, you have to come over here and blow on the packs. They've, like... they've been having really bad luck with the cards tonight. Because you haven't blown on the packs. All right, guys, Quip's going to blow on the packs, and then they'll be lucky. All right, here you go. Okay, she literally did I... blow on them. I made sure she did. These are officially the Lucky Hidden Fates packs. Should I open them all for myself, or should I let you guys open them? You guys tell me if you have any interest. If you don't, maybe I'll just open them all. Move over here. All right, a big-ass card. If Quick Quit Blow on the cards, they have 100% luck. That's kind of how it works. Yeah, if you guys don't open them, I'll open them. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more of these going anyways. Cracking another box open. Did you ever get my Metagross to Metalax? Oh, thank you for reminding me. I gotta find his goddamn pack. <laughs> That's why I'm so lazy about it. Whenever somebody's like, hey, give my card to so-and-so, if, if they haven't purchased cards tonight, meaning their, their pack's not somewhere on the table that I'm aware of, I have to like go searching for it. And it usually takes me a while. I'm a big baby. <laughs> Lazy. I already got like a million things going on in the stream. Let's see if we can find. Maybe he's relatively close to the packs. There's Raiden. No. Re. Uh, Max six. Yeah, I don't know where he's at. He's somewhere on the table. I just don't know where. Uh, I don't want to. Let me show you the mess. I'll show you the mess. See that? That's a bunch of packs. Metal Axe probably somewhere in there, but I don't want to go. I don't want to go dumpster diving for it. Give me a moment. And move this giant Rayquaza card. Okay. So hold on. Metal Axe says a hidden face for cheese, and then let me get some unbroken. Metal Axe just bought this for you. Cheese is from the stack of cards that Quip blew on. There's almost guaranteed to be a shining Charizard somewhere in this set. Definitely going to be a Char Charizard in this set. I would be surprised. I would be shocked. Don't be shy. Go deep. What? <laughs> Scyther, Sabrina, Magikarp. The Hibbin is for my Metagross. Oh, I see. All right, so no luck on that first pack of Hibbin. Sorry about that, cheese. I will have to give that card to you. So you're saying it was a straight-up trade. Let's get this out of here. What I'll do, I'll write his name on it. Cheese is like, poop. Cheese, I tell you what, if you're still doing trades, I'll do you I'll do you three hidden fates for the Sylveon. Do you better than the Metagross. Let's put Metal Axe on that. Cheese is like, do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. These are for cheese. Good luck, cheese. Two. Hopefully you get something nice out of them. I'm on your side. Let's see that Shining Charizard come out. It would be the most epic trade. Or Cynthia. You say you're after Cynthia, right? She's the second most valuable card on the set, so pulling her would be great. Oh, here we go. Shining Naganadel, full art. Sweet. See, quick, quick blue on the cards, and full art pops right out. Of course it does. That's that special luck that you can only get when quick, quick blows on the cards. I can't do that. I'm a big, ugly man. It doesn't work. If I blow on the cards, your cards get worse. That's what happens. I'm a big, ugly man. That's going to be Electrode and Erica's Hospitality. Last pack. Let's find out what's in here. 
It looks well centered too, by the way. Well, maybe a little thin on the top, but not by much. Psyduck and Eevee. Okay, so you did pick up the Shining Naganadel in exchange for the Sylveon. Yeah, actually, the centering is not bad on this. It's not so bad on the top. Let's see the back. Oh, yeah, this could probably be a 10 right here. Not bad. It could have it could have been all cold pulls, right? So you just did probably pretty close to a fair trade, actually, between the two, because I expect the Sylveon to go for 40, and the Nagana Dell I would expect to go for 40 in a few months. So in a few months, probably 40 on the Nagana Dell. Oh, right, and this goes into your bag. I should have asked for the Magneton, too. I wonder if you would do one pack for the Magneton. That sounds like a bad trade because, well, no, it's probably not a bad trade. I would do one pack for the Magneton, but I don't know if you'd be interested in that. The thing is, if you pull a Shining Charizard on the next pack, that would be insane, but I don't think you would. That The odds of that are incredibly low. The odds of pulling another Shining Pokemon that isn't a Full Art are probably fair. The odds of pulling another Ultra, I mean, Full Art are probably pretty low. The odds of pulling a cold pack are probably always pretty high from what we've seen. Jesus, like, let's keep trading. Good night, Zazlin. Hot pulls and happy hunting. Thank you very much, man. That's exactly what we like to do. We like to go hunting. So, we got to open up Metal Axe's Unbroken Bonds. Let's do that. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten you. We have not forgotten you, Metal Axe. Here we are. Oh, that makes it easy. You're going to be on the table real fast. So, maybe a secret rare in here. Let's find out. One. Happy birthday to TCC. Woo! Hope you had a great cake. Thanks for the stream and just a birthday present. Don't tell your wife. My wife's got the cake. Guessy who? Happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much, Guessy who? One, two, three, four, five. Guessy who being all nice. Guessy who? I'm probably going to take your donation and turn them into energy tickets for you to keep the energy lotto moving. I'll treat it as a donation all the same, though. Doduo, Spritzy, Gligar, Ghastly, Wooper, and Incineroar. Woo! Birthday wishes. Yeah, it was a pretty cool birthday. I worked all day. <laughs> but that's all right, because I like my job. <laughs> Snorlax. Nice. You got the Chunky Snorlax. All right. Everyone loves Chunky Snorlax. Dude, you're, you're Metalax. You love Snorlax. Yeah, that's a great pull for you. I was trying to remember who likes Snorlax, and I'm, I'm thinking about it for like two seconds. I'm like, oh, yes, yeah, Metalax. Dusk Stone, Aeron, Tentacool, Squirtle, Oddish, Crabrawler, Krabby. Oh, you did pull a full art. Nice. Full art, Janine. Sweet. All right. You're doing well on this set. You got the full art, and you got the chunky Snorlax. Come on. Perfect. Three, four. It's fate telling me. <laughs> it's trying to tell you that there's a Charizard nearby. <laughs> Last pack. Metalax <laughs> says shredded. You're not going to shred Janine. Janine didn't do anything wrong. Janine's a weeb, but we accept weebs. Weebs are okay in this channel. Goldeen, Red's Challenge, and Dark... I'm sorry, not Dark Raichu. Raichu. I'm so used to the rocket set. I'm so used to that rocket set. That I just say Dark Raichu automatically. All right, so you're picking up the Metagross, the Janine, and the Snorlax. So chomky. That's right, very chomky. And uh, Cheese, I would trade one pack of Hidden Fates for the Magneton. If I were you, I would ask for two packs, but I don't think I would do two packs for them. You can ask somebody else to get you two packs, but I would do one pack. So let's see, this is going to be Metalax. I think you have a very fair chance of pulling nothing if you did do that trade. You have a very good chance of pulling nothing. So keep that in mind. I'm trying to give you fair advice. By the way, guys, there's this pin for sale for $4. Uh, it's been sitting on the table. The other one already sold. This is the Mew pin from Hidden Fates. So he's for sale for $4. All right, Guessy Who. Let's get Guessy Who's tickets. How much is Hibben right now? Hibbins are $9 each. All right, so we're going to put you into Lottery 1, which is for the Mega Sableye Tyranitar PSA 10, a free grading, and five packs. Thank you so much for the donation, Gessie. 
I'm doing this to keep that lotto moving. Hibbins are for me, sorry. What? <laughs> Pin and Hibbins for cheese. Congrats becoming mom. Pin and Hibbins for cheese. Oh, sounds good. Guess he's being real generous right now. Move this over here. She's in the lotto now. This is going to be for cheese, and this is for cheese now as well. Huh. Mara says, happy birthday. I hope you have a good day. Take care. Thank you so much. I've been having a good day. I've been real productive. It's my favorite feeling. Productivity is a terrific feeling. You know, when you're really unproductive, I feel that this gives you depression very quickly. So productivity is awesome. I think it's one of the reasons why people play games like Animal Crossing, because it makes you productive. You know what I mean? It gives you something to do. Ah, Misty's Water Command and Blaine's Last Stand. <laughs> well, that Naganadel was already pulled. It's probably lowering the odds of a hot pull. Oh, right, and this, this goes to him too. Can we just put this in here? Will it fit? Can I open a little bit of my wallet? Oh, I can open a little bit of my wallet. That's what you said. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> I just don't want this to uh, hurt your other cards is all. I'm worried that it would bend the other cards. I think what I can do uh, let me take the Naganadel also put it into a sleeve here and we'll put them like this and so it's very unlikely that the mule well yeah I don't know I don't think it would be that bad Shipping pins. I feel that this baggie actually makes it worse. So let's toss that. I think this is probably the best method right here, actually. Yeah, this is the best method. Best method. Okay, we're going to be doing that. That's what we did for um, 90 as well. There we go. All right, there you go, cheese. The pin is in your bag. Gift from Gessie. Sweet. And we're done. We're caught up. <laughs> We're all caught up. Rand Misiel says, put the mule backwards on top of the cards so the flat side touches the cards. Very good point, Rand Misiel. How's it going, man? Are you, are you guys ready to open up Team Rocket uh, booster box? Let's see. Is it arrived yet? Let me check my shipping. I'm waiting for a booster box of, of Team Rocket to arrive. I'm jumping over there. Arrives April 4th, tomorrow. All right, well, we'll see if it's out tomorrow. We'll have to see. If it is, I'll look it over, see if it's the quality of the box is investment quality, and if it's not, then we will likely open it. Weekend Wolf says, oh my gosh, don't treat me, don't tease me like that. Can you show Lotto if you don't mind? Sure, King Taco, the current Lotto is for this Mega Sableye Tyranitar. So this is lotto number one. And uh, it's first edition, Weekend Wolf. It's first edition. Five packs of the energy, or not five packs of energy, five booster packs back here with the free grading. And then we have the big lotto, which is for a quite a valuable card, which is the Dedenne GX Secret Rare. So this is the current Big Lotto. We're going to pick another card after he's done. And what's interesting right now, the Big Lotto is almost done, guys. Big Lotto is quite, uh, quite far from where we started. This is smaller than Lotto 1 right now. So Big Lotto is near the end. There's no limit to the number of energy cards you can buy in Big Lotto. So you can buy all of them if you wanted, but uh, or all of them minus one. Let's see. You know what? We never started a lotto after that. There should be one more lotto. There should be lotto number two. I think I'm going to hold off on lotto number two until lotto one's done. Okami says, how you get lotto? So the lottos are $5 energy cards, and you just tell me which one you want to put them in. Also, you pay using Streamlabs. 
Lotto one PLZ. Lotto one. Thank you very much, Strato. By the way, everyone's packs are going out after the, this stream is over. After this stream is over, we are sending all the mail out. The long wait is nearly over. When the cards arrive, be sure to wash your boxes off and be careful to wash your hands and wash your doorknob and wash. put yourself in isolation. And <laughs> I'm just messing. Maybe the smartest thing to do would be to wear gloves when you pick up the box. I don't know. I don't want you guys to get coronavirus. Coronavirus. So this Snorlax is still for sale. Uh, I'll show him off a little bit more. And if nobody wants him, we'll move on to the next card. So he he's definitely got heavier scratches on him. I consider him a played card. The back of the card has some edge wear as well, but he's also only $7. Dip the cards in alcohol. <laughs> That's right. While you guys think about that Snorlax, let me find a different one. Taco says, Heck yeah. It sounds like she's saying go ta. <laughs> Let's see. What could I... Oh, I have another Snorlax? How many Snorlaxes did I have? I had like a bazillion Snorlaxes. I didn't even know. Maybe this lovely Lieutenant Surge's Magneton next. Taco Disco now, that's right. Snorlax. Oh, Stratosphere picking up the Snorlax. Here you go, Stratosphere. See, that's so much safer than a Hidden Fates pack. Snorlax. Holographic Snorlax from the jungle set. It's like, and now you just have them. No cold pulls when you buy them direct. The Lieutenant Surge, uh, Lieutenant Surge's Magneton is probably going to be for sale next. He's a really cool looking card from the Gym Heroes set. I don't know his price yet, but it's probably not crazy. Uh, but let's see. Let's get this Lotto 1 for Taco. King Taco. He is the king of tacos. There we go. Strato says, I don't have any lax. He is the most popular Snorlax, in my opinion. Of course, that Rocket Return Snorlax is pretty expensive too, isn't he? All right, there we go. What set is it from? Oh, this is from the Jungle set. This is a Watsi card, Wizard of the Coast. So this is the original Snorlax, the very first one that launched. And he is very popular. He's very collectible. For those of you who didn't know, he's very popular. I mean, I, I ought to own one. I ought to own a first edition one at PSA 10, but he probably costs too much. I can't afford it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if, obviously, when it comes to cards, if you just had a ton of money, you could just own everything you wanted. So a lot of the times when you're buying cards, you're kind of deciding what you can afford and what you'd like to have. That's a lot of the time, that's what you're doing. Deciding what can I afford and what would I like to have? Whoa, this card's in such nice condition. I had no idea. Wait, how nice of condition is this? Does that have a single scratch on it? Wait, I'm seeing... Seeing a very tiny hairline right there. Check the back of the card. That's a nine. This is definitely a nine. Oh, this is getting sent off. I'm not even going to sell this. <laughs> I'm not going to sell a card if it's like already ready to be graded. That doesn't make any sense. They're so hard to obtain when they're raw cards ready to be graded. What the hell? It was just sitting in my inventory. Just sitting in my my uh, my box. See, I got too many. I got to start getting rid of them. I got too many. I don't even know what I have. Because what happened was I've been into Pokemon card buying and I've just kind of gone crazy. I've gone off the deep end. All right. So he's being shipped off. Let's pick another one. What the heck? He's all ready to pull a nine, basically. See you later, Dylan. Dylan? Not Dylan. I think I did that last time. Stratosphere, I was selling this lovely Alkazam for $17. I don't know if you're interested in that. I don't think you were here for that. But let's pick another one. How about this Scyther? Ooh, this Scyther would be a dollar. If somebody wants to... Actually, who who's a... Uh, maybe I can just give it away. He's got a big bend right here. He's a damaged card. That card doesn't deserve to be sold. He's probably about a dollar. I mean, somebody would probably buy him for like $3 on eBay, but I'm not going to do that to you guys. Don't, don't pay for it. Don't pay for it. 
Oh, check it out. I do have fossil muck. Somebody was mentioning fossil muck. I don't remember who it was. Chief Buffalo likes Scyther. That's right. Chief Buffalo does. I'm going to write his name down here. Next time he buys something from me, I'm going to toss this in there. It's a damaged card. It's really not worth buying. So I'm going to send that off to him next time. Nighty says, I love Scyther. <laughs> so here is a Dark Muck Fossil. Let's take a look at his quality real fast. Oh, right there. There's a dot. Whoa, he's in really good condition. He, oh, he's off the center to the left. He's got a little bit of whiting on the edges. So he's probably about an 8. So I would say this is about an 8, and I would call him Near Mint. I think Near Mint is an 8. Let's see. Gem Mint is 10. Mint is 9. Near Mint is an 8. So this is going to be Near Mint Fossil Muck. Let me go get a price on him. Yeah, that's very good condition. I didn't see any other scratches on the surface. Just that dot in the middle of the surface of the hollow, and then a little bit of whiting on the back. Let's see, Fossil Muck. And I'm going to type in NM for near mint. I don't think he's going to be that expensive, believe it or not. That's Japanese. I'm going to sell mine for... I think I'm going to sell mine for $4. Wait, are these hollow? I don't think these are hollow. What's the number on them? Oh, 13. That's important. I'm going to put in Fossil Mug 13 near mint. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, his price goes up. I'm going to sell them for 5 Oh, I'm sorry. We're still zoomed in. <laughs> I don't see what you guys see unless I look into the phone. So this is going to be $5 for that muck. Please call him out if you're going to buy him because I only have the one of the. I only have him. I don't have multiples of him, as far as I know. That's a near mint muck. Hear my chair squeaking? It needs it needs some W forty. It's my work chair. What else? What do we got? Fossil magneton. Here's a Brock's right on that. Looks really cool. Oh man, this car is so good. TCC says, "What about our trade? Ooh, what did you want to trade, TCC?" Was it going to be, uh, here, here's another cool card for $5. This Misty, is that priced correctly? There's no way that's priced correctly. That The Misty's Tentacruel is priced as $5. i will honor that price. Um, dude, that's a cool looking card. Must have scratches on it or something. Oh, yeah, she's got scratches on it. That's what it is. So the Misty's Tentacruel has some scuffing down on it. How about the back of the card? Yeah, and whiting on it. So that's the the five's probably an appropriate price then, guys. This isn't like a special deal. Five's probably the normal price. So five for the muck, five for the Misty's Tentacruel, which we would call that played or light played. Somewhere in the middle there. I would I will I'm just going to call this played, so five P. Weekend Wolf says I love the vintage hollows. Tenta. Tentacruel. Who's this going to? Give me a moment. Nighty. Sounds good, Nighty. Yeah, so you can own some vintage cards at a very, uh, not surprising, well, what's the right word? Not wallet-breaking price. <laughs> there we go. I thought somebody wanted a fossil muck. What's the Brock's write-on look like? Yeah, let's take a look real fast. One moment. Okay. Oh, this isn't, is this my old sleeve? Looks like I put a price on him back then of $14. So I already had an impression of his value. He's looking pretty good, actually. So it looks like, aside from some clear scratching, so check it out. In general, the card looks nice, but if you tilt it right, this is what they don't do. There we go. If you tilt it right, those scratches show up. Those are very thin scratches. They don't affect the card too much, but they will stop it from passing. He will probably get about a six to a seven in terms of a grade because of those scratches. Let's check the back. Oh, the back's very nice on this card. So on the back we see, actually there's no edge wear, there's no dots. This is probably gradable. Uh, because he's not first edition though, he won't go for too much of a premium. So I think $14 was the correct price on this. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 14, 
it was kind of like between excellent and near mint. Like 14. I'm going to call it excellent, though, just to be fair. So I don't give the wrong impression about it. All right. That's for Brock's right on. Cheese says something about a trade. Are you still there, Cheese? Cheese says, how many Hibbins left? We got two Hibbins left. Uh, we got more than two. But these are the ones that I have sitting on the table right now. We got a bazillion Hibbins. What other cards do we have? Magnetons. Gyarados. Wigglytuff. Flipping you off. Wigglytuff. Oh, man. Look how cute this card is, dude. This is from Neo Destiny. It is a Japanese Togetic. Holy cow, man. Ran Misael says, how much for the Hidden Fates with bulk? If you want to do bulk, uh, I'm going to shift it up to $10 in this case. Because if you bought three of them, then that would be an additional $3. So if you want bulk, it'll be $10 each. How does that sound? Dude, this thing's cute as hell. How's this so cute? Oh, there we go. Hair Yet? Nobody's bought the muck yet, so it's yours now. So this has some hairlines in it. How much for the Togetic? I honestly don't know. This is some kind of Neo something set, Neo Destiny or something like that. The Neo set tends to be a little more expensive. It'll take the dog. So DL took the muck. Thank you for the tip, DL. I do notice that. Oops. Uh, Nighty would like the ride on. Uh oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> Alright, that's Nighty. I will look up the price of this Togetic in a minute. Let's see what else is going on, though, though. So, DL's taking care of, Nighty's taking care of, JC says five lot of one, and the rest for birthday tip. Woo! Birthday time. One, two, three, four. Five. There you go, JC. Wow, that's moving fast. Thank you so much, JC. JC's going deep, as he often does with the lotto. Yep, today is going to be Mega Sableye Tyranitar for the lotto, and then after that, it's going to be Gengar Mimikyu. So we got two really nice PSA cards lined up. I did the uh, Tyranitar first because I have two of them. All right, there we go. I still got this RuneScape music playing in the background. It's so cheesy. It's such such cheesy music. Made so long ago. And it's supposed to sound like, I don't know, like royal or something or proper. I, I don't know what the word like RPG-ish, fantasy, role play. I don't know what it is. But it is some dorky sound of music, man. Strato says, is Cosmic still not in? It is still not in. I believe that the person I ordered from has probably shut down operations because of coronavirus. And maybe I'll ask them for a refund, but actually I would like for them to complete the order when they get back to work. So I just need to email them and find out what's going on. What I have done is I've ordered even more Cosmic, though. So I ordered Cosmic from a second location, and I'm hoping that that arrives soon, maybe even tomorrow. And when it arrives, we'll be able to offer it on this channel again. Hey, mister, do you have a free birthday card? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> hey, mister, any free birthday cards? <laughs> We got the person from Italy came in, and they're like, hey, you're going <laughs> to... So JC is giving me the birthday tip, but you know what, JC? I'm going to hand that back to you in the form of keeping this lotto moving, because I want to keep it moving. Thank you so much for the tip, Strato. I'm going to apply it to the big lotto, and you're going right in. I did this for Gessie earlier as well to keep these lottos moving. Woo! So these two tickets go into the big lotto. And we are two tickets closer to ending that one. One and two. Which lotto is closer to ending? Oh, that's a great question. Might be the big lotto still. But uh, actually, people are buying lotto one right now. So here's lotto one now. Lotto one's moving. And here is big lotto. It looks like technically Lotto 1 is thinner, but not by much. They're actually just about tied, I'd say. 
They're just about Tide Pods, I say. Okay, what were we doing? Oh, we were looking up the price of that Togetic, because that is an amazing looking card. What is that? Neo something Togetic? That's going to be Japanese Neo Togetic. All right, not this one. There's a different one. Whoa, here it is. Neo Destiny. Neo Destiny Togetic. Oh, there's like two of them. What is this one? This one's number 176. So we're going to say Togetic 176. He's a nice looking card, man. All right, so based on what I'm looking at, I will sell that Togetic for $10. That's going to be a, uh, I'm gonna call him, well, let's take, the, take a look at the back. Yeah, the back looks, what the Japanese cards are generally in good condition. There's, there's some scratching right here. It's very light. You have to tilt it correctly in order to see it. A big, big cool swirl right by the head, that's nice. And this one's going to be $10. I'm gonna actually call that near mint because I believe it's near mint. Neo Destiny Togetic. It's got a big toe. It's got a huge toe. Whew, what a day, man. I got a stretch or something. Should I open some more packs? Maybe I should open some more packs. Maybe I should open one of those ones. Quick, quick, blue on. So this one's for me. Trade Cheese Hibbins. Ah, yes. How's it going, Cheese? Cheese, what would you like for the Hibbins? Open Team Up. We're all out of Team Up. I did. I opened a whole box of them, and now they're gone. How's it going, Apex? He says, how are you doing tonight? Well, it's my birthday, and I'm doing pretty well. Lots of birthday wishes, and uh, we've opened up a lot of cards together. Cheese says my cards. Cheese, uh, I would probably give you one pack for the Magneton, and I'd probably give you... Three packs for the Naganadel, which I don't recommend trading with me. <laughs> You've already pulled the Naganadel. She is a full art, so you're 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 doing better holding on to her than you are trading. Cheese is like deal. <laughs> Cheese is like just go for it, man. Just go for it. I don't even care. I don't even do I look like I care? So this is the last pack my wife blew on. That means that it's going to definitely be special. It's gonna be especially poor pulls. Oh, okay, we picked up Frogadier and Giovanni's Exile. Not bad. Not bad. So there was a Naganadel and a Frogadier in that set. Not bad. I would say still lucky. Place these up here for now. Wow, happy birthday, dude. Hopefully some good pulls. I did pull a full art uh, bonnet earlier, which was kind of nice. So that's kind of cool. All right, so you're saying you will trade the Naganadel and the Magneton. God, I love this Magneton. I'm so addicted to this Magneton, I honestly am. And you would take four packs for that. All right, guess what? We have four fresh packs from another booster box, another of the premium power collections. So good luck. Maybe a hot pull right here, cheese. But maybe not. Maybe cold pulls. That's the trade-off. Cheese still going deep for that Cynthia, though. Strato says, I need that Magneton rip. Hmm. Hmm. Should I sell you the Magneton? I'll probably grade it. Cheese gives us hard. He's going to shred it. Maybe he will. <laughs> Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Magnazone. You've upgraded. <laughs> you went from Magneton to Magnazone. Oh, my God. You got the evolutionary tree here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Josh. Oh, I need that Magnazone, says Nighty. Gibble. Okay. Oh, there's that beautiful Wigglytuff. I know you're a fan of the Wigglytuff. Don't lie to me, Cheese. We should leave the Wigglytuff staring at Cheese this whole time with that creepy-ass smile. The Gibble actually looks really good here. Well-centered on the front. Get in the zone, Magnazone. <laughs> All right, you're two for two so far with the packs. Now if you just pull a full art, it'll be nuts. Uh, that's going to be Metal Energy and Mew. 
last pack. Oh, that's falling over. There it goes. Last pack luck. We'll have to see. How much for the Gibble Cheddar? <laughs> he's going to tell you. He's going to be like, one pack. <laughs> All right. So your pulls are going to be the Magneton and the Gibble. Magnezone and the Gibble. I would say it could have gone worse, uh, but I would have liked to have held the Naganadale personally. But yeah, it definitely could have gone worse than that. No one by Ike. No one by Ike? What? Hold on, I didn't I didn't see what he said. <laughs> no one by Ike, guys. Got that? <laughs> oh, I must jump over here. DL, no one by egg? That's right. DL just bought this beautiful Togetic. It's all yours. This is a near mint. Neo Destiny Togetic number 176. Really nice. And let's get another vintage card out on the table. This is Sabrina's Alakazan. And similar to many of the other cards we've looked at, this, okay, I've already priced it at $9 as well. So this one's going to be, uh, you know, it's got some scuffing on the front. I'm going to say this one is excellent. Give me that muck, hey, mister. Give me that muck, hey, mister. Dynamic Re, the muck already sold. The muck already sold. I'm so sorry. What I can do is offer you a refund or I can go searching for another muck. This possibility I have one in one of my folders. Let me check my folder. Let's see, which one would it be? It would be the white folder if I have them. I'm gonna check, check real fast because I might have another one. You guys have seen this folder, right? It's the one that has uh, the Charizard in it. So we're looking for muck. Oh, there he is. I, in fact, I do have another one. Oh, and he's looking good too. Oh, perfect, dude. <laughs> Everyone is happy. <laughs> Oops, this folder's... There we go. Everyone is happy. I happen to have two of them. That was not planned at all. So when we take a look at it, it looks like it's got a little bit of dirt up there. Do you see that? You might be able to just wipe that off with the uh, cloth. Wipe it very carefully. You don't want to... You don't want to apply pressure to it, okay? So you wipe that off real nicely. Don't get the card too wet either, okay? And then, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I think I see a print line right there. That's a print line. The uh, centering's okay. Okay, and there's a little bit of edge wear up top. It's not too bad though. $5 is still pretty decent, I'd say. All right, and who's that going to? That's going to Dynamic Re. Dynamic Re, is that your first time buying a card from me? If it is, be sure. Oops. Dynamic Re. Be sure to reach out to me on Discord. I have a, you, you can contact me privately. There's a way to do that. And send me the address you would like this mailed to. If you've purchased before, I don't think you have. I don't recognize your name. All right, there you go. Muck. What else are we doing? Dynamic Droll says yes, and Wolf knows. What? Muck card should be dirty. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Muck card should be dirty. TCC, want any more of my cards? Uh, I would trade another pack for the Magnazone, but do you really want to risk that? Because if you trade one pack for the Magnazone, there's a fair chance you get nothing in return. I know you do also get a chance for like a, a full art, but has a full art been pulled yet? I don't think a full art's been pulled from that set, but there's been boxes where there's no full art at all. Thank you so much, Darren. So here is a Magneton with plenty of scratches across the front. He looks okay on the back. He's definitely presentable, no bends or anything like that. I'm gonna say that he is probably light played and I'm gonna set him for $6. If you would like to have a dark Magnazone, Magnazone Magneton. <laughs> Cheese says, I'll risk it all. Let's do it. All right, here you go, Cheese. Good luck. Cheese says, I'm going deep. I ain't scared of anything. Don't be shy. Put some more. 
put some more. All right, so I'm trading this for the Magnazone. Good luck. Slow poke wheezing. Sorry, cheese. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I was worried that you would end up with the no pools. He says, I'm not scared of the dark. All right, I'm stealing your Magnazone now. It's actually still a pretty decent trade for you if you think about it because Magnazone, I'm pretty sure, sells for like $4 on eBay. And that boost pack did not cost me $4. It was expensive. But you know what? I'm a sucker for Magnazone and Magneton, so I did it. <laughs> How's it going, Logs? He says, happy birthday, Boomer. Hey, Boomer. Hey, Boomer. Oh, my God. I'm not a Boomer. I'm like a million years young. Here's a Dark Muck from Team Rocket Returns. However, it is not in the best condition. I would call this played. And if somebody wants this Dark Muck, I would sell that for $5. As you guys know, I'm getting into collecting the uh, Rocket Return set in a much more expensive way. What's up with the Sabrina card there? How's it going, King Taco? It's for sale. This is an, a card that's I'm deeming it's excellent quality and excellent grade is what I mean, and it's $9. This Dark Muck is $5, and it's a played card. So these are vintage cards, and I'm selling them right now. I'm selling some of my vintage cards off, like this Dark Magneton for six. Uh, it's light played, and it's got scuffs on the front. There they are. Yep, you don't have to deal with <clears throat> any tomfoolery tom when you purchase cards from me because I can show you the cards right in the live stream so you know exactly what you're buying. Unlike eBay, where they take one picture and it hides all the scratches. Isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? You never know what you're buying on eBay. Probably somebody else's problems. Buying somebody else's bad card, and they're going to charge you for it like it's a near mint. TCC, I want to give out some stimulus cards donate my cards really really well i don't want you to just give your cards out let's see what do we got are you sure you want to give these away yeah you don't have to give them away Cheese, you can hold on to them. You know, if you held on to all of your cards, cheese, you would have, like, you would have a lot of them saved up at this point. You see what I'm saying? Cheese is like, all I see is garbage. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do for you, Cheese. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these into the, what do they call that? The pity pull pile. So these are going to go in there. And we'll let people pull those if they've had bad luck. They'll take one of your cards, and in exchange for that, I'm going to give you this last Hidden Fates booster pack, okay? No one by Rocket Magneton either. No one bought the Magneton. That's right. Easy. So this is for Cheese. He donated the cards to the Pity Pole, and I'm donate donating a pack of Hidden Fates. Maybe the gods will, all the, all the uh, stars will align, and he will get Cynthia here. Nope, you got Psyduck and Misty's Water Command. Sorry, Cheese. <laughs> that was the free pack, valued at like nine bucks, because that's what I sell them at. Uh, so you have a pin here, and I'll set that here, Cheese. Cheese, if you change your mind on those pity pulls, all you got to do is say, because I got them sitting right there, and I'll put them back in your bag if you change your mind later, okay? So feel free to change your mind. In the meantime, we'll give them, we'll give them out to people who have had bad luck. All right, so this is going in Deal's bag as well. I know, it's a nice looking card, right, Dio? That's a hot looking dark magneton. Give me that muck to I, mister. Mister, hey, mister. <laughs> so you've got the fossil muck and the dark muck from Rocket Returns. It's a very cool looking muck. The Rocket Returns set has some goofy looking cards, but actually the dark Pokemon in the Rocket Returns set look really nice. There you go. What's that? That leaves the Sabrina's Alkazam on the table. Uh, I guess let's keep taking a look at these vintage cards because I got a bunch of them. You guys seem to be very interested in them. Here's a pre-release Dark Gyarados. Oh, here we go. Some lines up here. Okay. 
and a dot there and a dot there. I would do $5 on the pre-release Dark Gyarados. And he is probably near mint. Pre-release, see? So that card came out before the official set came out, I believe. Guessy says, wish I could buy more, but I'm out of money. Guessy, you don't got to buy all your, all put all your money in Pokemans. See, Dark Arbok, Entei, Jolteon, Vileplume, Pinsir, Magneton. Ooh, look at this fancy Kabutops. I'll put the, the Kabutops already has a price on it as well. So the Kabutops is six light played, and the Dark Gyarados is near mint five. So these two and the Sabrina's Alkazam. <laughs> 90 says I'm out of money for food the next week. You're eating ramen, man. Take a break. You don't gotta, you know, the cards will be here a month from now. I'll still be selling the cards. So, so pace yourself. Strato says, Girados. Girados. How's it going, uh, Zrilio? How is it going? He says, Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Wait, where do we put Strato? Strato was brought back to the forefront somewhere, wasn't he? There he is. Tops. Tops. Oh, Kabutops. Confused me there. <laughs> That's Dark Gyarados. Who purchased that? Nighty? Nighty's like, I'm out of food. And then she purchases Kabutops. <laughs> I'm glad I already priced that because it makes it easier to offer it in the middle of this live stream. I had to change my eating to healthy stuff. Ew. Gross. <laughs> healthy stuff. Talking crazy talk. What else do we got? Ooh, here's a fancy one. Here's a fancy one. Dark Alakazam, Dark Slowbro, Dark Golbat. God, I should just sell these as a complete set or something. But yeah, here's the Dark Alakazam. Whew, he does look nice, actually. All right, I'm seeing some light scuffs on the front. So the hollow does have light scuffs on it. Hold on. You can kind of see them. It's actually really hard to see because the card's so dark. Can I? There we go. See that? There they are. See how much work it is to get the, uh, that's how much work it is to get the, the uh, scuffs to show up. And people who do eBay listings, they don't ever do that. They don't ever do that. They never show that stuff off. They're just like, take a look at how nice the card is. And then they say in the description, this is always the trap. It's like a setup. They're like, uh, you get the card in the pictures. Please examine the pictures. Police. Uh, DL, that one already sold. Sorry, DL. What I can do is I can put that towards something else if you'd like. So let's see. Dark Alakazam. Uh, hollow. And we're going to say that one is probably excellent. I'd say that one's at least excellent. It's more like excellent near, near mint. Somewhere in the middle. Oh, man. There's not a lot of them for sale. Dark Alakazam, Hollow EX. Well, let's get rid of this. Maybe this will make it easier. Okay, that's better. So that one's 18. I think I'll do 15 on the Dark Alakazam. I'm not in a rush to sell that one. That's a very good looking card. I'm going to do... F it's, it's like Excellent Plus 2, by the way. I think that is closer to... Excellent, the near mint, but it's definitely not just excellent. So let's say, uh, what did I say, 15 or something? So the Alakazam is going to be 15. Well, I've got a lot of Alakazams. I wonder if that was me subconsciously buying them all. <laughs> I still have a calzone from the other day. <laughs> so uh, let's get some more cards up there. I should have asked for the Grimers next time, says Dynamic. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Naughty Grimers? Okay, this has a patch of scratches right there. So this one, let's make this one $8. I'm just going to ask for 8 on this. The Golbat. How many more Hibben? This Golbat's probably in played condition. I'm going to do $4. $4 played on the Dark Golbat. How many more Hibben? We do have Hibben left, so here's three Hibben. And I, I have more boxes I can crack open. What's surprising me is that we've gone through so many boxes tonight. Oh, here's a dark Raichu. Ooh, nice. Here's 
So Zapdos Light Palade. A dark Raichu, man. Now let's take a look at him. So he's got a lot of scuffing. He's well-centered, though. How about the back? Mm, he's got some edge wear. So I would call this Light Palade Dark Raichu. And the price on him, I'm going to have to say $18, probably. Just from my memory of buying these cards. All right, so that's a few more of those. A few more of the vintage cards. Those are all Wizard of the Coast cards right there. And they're from the Rocket set specifically. When do you think Corona will end? Dory Man, I don't think it ever will end. I think we'll just all be infected at some point. Rest for Kazam. The rest for Kazam. All right. Sounds good, Dio. DL picking off the Dark Magneton and the Dark Alkazam. Two very good looking cards from this set. Hibben Vapes. Hibben Vapes from Statosphere. All right, sounds good. We got pack number one, pack number two, and pack number three. Good luck. Who is that, Stratosphere? Good luck, Stratosphere. Oops. Oops. Oops, fix that too. We've got Chansey, Graveler, Ekans, Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Clefairy, and Jesse and James. Shoot, let's try pack number two. Come on, pack number two. We've got Pokemon Center Lady, Scyther, Magmar, Pikachu, Charmander, Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans, Clefairy, and Mew. Oh, man. Come on, last pack luck. We need some last pack luck. Dear Lord. Here we go. We got Brock's Grit, Misty. Oops, these energy cards are falling over. Caterpie, Ekans, Paris. Charmander, Slowpoke, oh my god, man. These are just so stingy. I don't know what it is. Did they make, Did they? do you think they made the reprint stingier than before? I am so sorry, Stratosphere. We've seen that twice tonight now. Twice. Let me get another box out. I'll be right back. Holy. Who's this? Has that lady responded to you? She, uh, so she would fix it. Cool. She didn't apologize, though, did she? No. For being crazy? No. I apologize for this trying to fix things. What? She was crazy, man. She was a psychopath. Okay, we got the Rayquaza card. Any Rocket Return raw cards for sale? Hi, Weekend Wolf. Um, I think I might have one or two. I don't have a lot, though. Man, that's why I get a trash pile, because we go through so many cards, it creates this much trash. Wow, in one stream, we are more than halfway sold out of Hidden Fates. Rocket Returns. Actually, I do have some. Let me... In my black folder, I didn't even think about it. They're old. I bought them a long time ago. Let's see what I have. <laughs> oh my god, this is like my rocket folder. And it is full. So what do I have back here? Right, this was before I really understood what I was doing with this set. I didn't really know what the point of the set was yet. <laughs> I wasn't really buying PSA cards yet either. Like, I've got a Hollow Hypno, I've got a Dark Dragonite, and he's not holographic. I've got a holographic Dark Slowking. Was this not sleeved? I guess that wasn't even sleeved. How about this one? Well, that one's not sleeved either. That's not right. Definitely need to be sleeved. Dude, I was a noob collector back then. I've gotten much better. 
Noob. So here is a non-hollow dark dragonite. And here is a holographic dark slow king. These are from Rocket Returns, and they're pretty cool. Uh, I don't really know what the value of the Dark Dragonite will even be. What's interesting about these cards, they're secretly extremely rare. Okay, he's got edge wear. I don't even have a clue what his price would be. These cards were just not printed a lot or something. Or maybe they weren't bought a lot, so they never did a second print run or something. Not a lot of them. The hollow's not bad on that one. Oh, snap. Should I send this off for grading myself? Oh, he's got light scuffing. I see. So he's probably a near mint or a excellent. The Dark Slow King is probably somewhere in between. Actually, he looks... He's near mint. There's no question. He's near mint. I don't know what this guy is. Let me take a look at them real fast. He says, send it. I got Slow King already. <laughs> got Slow King. You're buying, Rocket, you're buying the Rocket Returns cards? No wonder I can't find any. <laughs> Dark Dragonite. I want to say returns. Give me Hibbins because I always go deep. That's why I have kids. I always go deep. That's why I have kids. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> also, it just occurred to me we opened up three packs for Stratosphere when we only owed him two. Stratosphere, we're going to count that third pack as a gift. Uh, I'm an idiot. That's my mistake. All right, and Cheese purchased three packs. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I don't know why I opened three packs for you. Imagine if the last pack had been really good, too. I would have had to take it back from you. So the Dark Dragonite there, I'd probably sell him for $5. He's a non-hollow rare from the Rocket Return set, and he looked like he was selling for $5, even as a non-hollow. I thought researchers said Corona will end in a month or two. No, that is not what anyone was saying. We were hoping that summertime would maybe make it hard to spread, kind of like the cold. But they are not so sure of that either, because it seems to spread just fine in places like Florida. So it's looking like it's going to be around. Looking like we're all going to get it. Lieutenant Surge and Jesse and James. Stingy, dude. These are some stingy packs, man. Hidden Fates, very stingy. Next time we open already open packs, we will know why we're not getting any pulls, and it's because these are stingy. Last set. My, my cheese searchers said we will be banning Corona. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy. Oh, here we go. Shining Guzzlord, very good. Oh, and Giovanni's Exile. Last pack, luck, for sure. All right, we got Giovanni. You know what's interesting? Guzzlord shows up in this set twice, as this in this form and in the full art form. This is going to who? This is going to Cheese. Cheese's like, don't want it. <laughs> cheese, I'm going to steal this Guzzlord from you. Cheese, you should save them and trade them is what you should do. Come on, Cheese. Save them and trade them at least. Trade Guzz, trade Guzz for a pack. Well, see, I don't know if I do a full pack every time because I'm pretty sure the Guzz Lord probably only sells for about $4. The packs, definitely, I can sell all of them at 9 It's like a half pack. Jesus says, trade me for last pack. I, I don't think I could on that one. Gerson says, and I'm back. I hate softy poopy. Enough for Slow King? That is, in fact, enough for Slow King. Let's get you that Slow King. I will be happy to trade you that one. Where'd I put him? I just had him. Wait. Oh, he's right here. I'm going crazy. Here you go, DL. That's fine. I'm not going to look up the price. Nice job. Dark Slow King is sold. We are at 200 minutes into this live stream. Think we should wrap up? Dude, I'm feeling tired, man. Woo! I am exhausted. Egg exhausted. I'm just going to show you guys a few more of these vintage cards in case any catch your eye. The Mewtwo is $5 if you want the Mewtwo. 
here's a dark flaffy i pulled it just the other day i guess you could have that for like two bucks if you want a dark flaffy this yanmas from rocket returns he's rare i'll sell him for at least five i think he's just a rare non-hollow these are freshly pulled i opened up a pack it was like 200 dollars for the pack by the way some reverse hollows we got electrode i will sell this electrode for like two bucks if you want them Oh, man, this Lapras, same deal. Two bucks for the Lapras. That's damaged Lapras. The scratches are so deep. Here's a nice-looking Dark Hypno. Probably about $7 for Dark Hypno if you want him. I don't know what this guy goes for. He looks really clean. Anyways, those are some last-minute vintage cards. You might be interested in them. Uh, otherwise, why don't we go ahead and wrap up so that I can stretch my back and not injure my back. I'll start leaning back in my chair right now. Oh, that feels nice. Ooh, the problem is when I do the car stream, I lean completely forward and I, I never actually relieve my back. I'm leaned forward the whole time so that my hands can be in front of the camera. And uh, if you do this for a really long time, eventually your back starts to hurt. Look at all those vintage cars. Aren't they lovely? Vintage cars have something about them that the new cars don't have. It's just as like a hand drawing style, Gen 1 Pokemon. You know they're rare. <laughs> It's a really nice feeling. Mewtwo. Weekend Wolf wants the Mewtwo. Weekend Wolf, I don't know if I'm shipping anything for you tonight. I'm just right. Weekend Wolf on this. We can hold on to it for a little while if we need to so that we can get combined shipping. All right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, leaning back in my chair. That's a nice feeling. Yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for all the birthday wishes, all the tips. It's been very nice. I will go ahead and get the shipping started right after I stretch. All right, see you guys.